Hello, and welcome to hey. the final tournament of the day Yes, at Kumite in Tennessee. Here. That's right, KIT 2017. We're here for Mortal Kombat X Top 8. I'm Ultra David. And I am Katana Prime. Um, interesting storylines. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. First uh, and foremost, we have to get it out of the way. Um, throughout the history of MKX, especially early, Team Yomi was dominating. Yes. Top eights would consist of five Yomi players, Sonic Fox, and for the other sure. two guys who just yeah. happened to slip in. Especially if, if you're on the eastern half of the country, if you're on the southern half of the country, yeah, that was man. for sure the case. Now, 2017, things have changed. Uh, the color is yellow, and the team is noble, making up half of the top eight for members to, uh, Raptor, Dragon, Toxin, making his first appearance in top eight mm. at an offline major. That's right, yeah, yeah, there you and go. And Illusions making his first top eight in the winner side. Well, Illusions is going to have a pretty tough draw at the very start against somebody who's newly signed himself, yeah. Echo Fox, Sonic Fox, big old esports overlords yeah, swooping they, in. They fly in jets. They did, yeah. <laughs> they fly Chartered in jets. Chartered jets. Now, on the other half of things, this is where the other two guys who just happened to make it, uh -huh. these other two guys are some perennial, arguably top five NRS players of all time. Yomi's Forever King. Going up against CR's Wound Cowboy, a lot of history in that match. Yeah, those are players who have been excellent in this game. They were excellent in Injustice. They were excellent in MK9. Yeah, man. And, uh, they have a lot of success between them. On the other half of the loser's bracket, uh, it hurts my heart, but I am a happy man. Okay. Everyone knows that KP is the walking advertisement for Florida boys everywhere, and we have two. Young Beyond Toxin, finally, finally crushing the ninth place demon right. and making it in the top eight. It's going to be going up against Samij, both Central Florida guys. This guy's a Molina extraordinaire at mm -hmm. this point. Really Rocking strong. the ethereal. We haven't seen such effectiveness since Salt Face way back when. Yeah, I love, I love watching his movement with that character. It's very interesting to watch. Yeah, perfect uses of the EX fade, obliterating any gap, any ounce of space you give him to get in, mix you up, and complete combos. That's right. Should be a fun one. Yeah, um, I'm also really looking forward to Raptor and Dragon. Yeah. So Raptor with that Hellfire Scorpion now. Yes. Um, again, fantastic movement on his side. But I think what I'm most like impressed by is the reactions that he has. He, he will a... not let you get away with anything with that character. Absolutely. Uh, he had a couple of reads in his set against Tweety especially. He would react to Kenshi's overhead yeah. or one of the demons coming out. Instant air, I saw EX that. teleports. Yep. yep. Enough. Yep. Guido Super will strong. be setting us Excellent on the stage with our first match. Uh, just um, amazing play. Uh, but, but Dragon has been extremely strong, too. Yeah, I mean, there hasn't, nine out of ten times, if there's an MKX major and there's a top eight, Dragon is in it. Yeah. Um, the last time he missed one was uh, he got ninth at SCR, and that's low for his standards. Yeah. He's a perennial top two, top three guy. Absolutely. Will he be able to get past Raptor and slay his demon, a man he's never beaten in tournament in Sonic Fox? I'm also really impressed by him, too, in the sense that since the, the patch has changed things a little yes. bit, his character choices have changed a little yeah. bit, too. Uh, and I know you're I know you're cool with part we of it. Yeah, pretty little, little princess. Woo, all right, yeah, we might. We might. Uh, but no, I really like, uh, I feel like it's different than how he was winning before. Yes. It's There's extra space control now. There's pace control. Yeah, He's so much stronger at that side of the game. And he was already strong when it comes to pressure and understanding that, that side of it. And he's still a smart guy. He uses Shinnok as well to cover yes. the matchups. Well-rounded kid. Perfect mind games. He just needs to. It's Sonic. That's just the reality of it. If Dragon can beat Sonic, he can win a major. Illusions has to beat Sonic, or has to lose to Sonic first. You never know. Of course. You of never course know. Not. I'm actually I just like, say. secretly hoping that Illusions wins. Look, Sonic is, is my boy, but yeah, I'm a big yeah, Illusions fan. Rick Fox, you set the tone. You bought your little super team. You want to be the Golden State Warriors? We're going to be something else. The collective. It, it's like Tiger Woods. Is it Sonic Fox or the field back then? I'm going to take the field today. Yeah, for the back then. Yeah? I'm gonna You're going to take the field? field? I'm going to take the field. Mm, that's a gutsy one. It is a gutsy one, but there's no better way to start off the year. Okay, all right. Well, we'll see how this all goes. All right. Let's head over to uh, Guido. We're going to get the introductions. What's going on, guys? Welcome to the last game of KIT 2017. Mortal Kombat X! For our first match. We have got the god, Echo Fox's own Sonic Fox! Taking on Noble's own Illusion! All right, you see Frosty Bunny in the background there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, Frosty Bunny's still in it. 
So, Sonic Fox obviously has a host of characters. Yes. Which one do you think we should expect? Well, that's the beauty of this. Illusions also has a host of characters. Anywhere from three to four. I'm pretty sure he's played at least four in the tournament. Mm. Um, but look at these kids, man. They're all young and happy and they taking all the that. money and winning all the games. Nice little peace sign from Illusions flying all the way out from Seattle. Yeah. And the young kid, the Mr. Smiley Face while he tea bags <laughs> like Sonic Fox. You know, you know what's funny is how much he's, he's so young still, and yet he's had so much media exposure in like the past, well, since he was 15, yeah. I guess, uh, that it's like natural to him. <laughs> you know, it's like more natural to him than it is to almost anybody These else. These pictures are the best. Yeah. I don't Look want to shout face. out the production oh team God. here, man. Panda and everybody back home making it so lively and helping these people allow themselves to breathe the personality through the stream. Yeah. I say that because I know all of the pictures, and there's a certain one in Vance that, okay. that's going to stand out. All right. <laughs> a a non-expected move from a non-expected guy is okay. going to be glorious. Because <laughs> that Sonic Fox picture was exactly what I would expect. Yes, exactly. That's exactly the guy. So that's good. All right, all right. so they switch sides there for some reason. That's we fine. are, and we're going to have Sonic check all the buttons and all the controllers and make yeah. sure everything is desynced de so someone please. doesn't put the game into rest mode. Yes. I, you told me about that. I can't believe that. <laughs> You know, we're going to be prepared. These guys make top eight. They know everything, even the outside of the game factors. Like you got to play the meta game. That's yeah. right. The game outside the game. Is that a mind game right there? Hey, mm. let me borrow your sync cable. <laughs> Illusions doesn't look too heavy. Look, he's keeping his eyes on it. <laughs> I, think, I think that's his face. <laughs> All right. Okay. All right, guys. So Sonic Fox starting with the headgear on. Yeah, man. we saw at Evo, there are some situations where he will take it off. Extreme. He's not He's not married to that thing. I mean, we know what, what Tekken Master has done. And also, big yes. shouts to where Sonic Fox hails from, the Skullgirls community. Oh, yeah. His arch rival there to Kill Sage has also made Sonic take off the crown. But yeah, it's only in times of extreme distress. Yes. It just gets too hot for him. So <laughs> anyway, they're going to they're gonna work on that. Um, uh, yeah, but I'm, I'm also really looking forward to Cowboy versus Forever King. You know, we mentioned these are two of the best players that, that in, in NRS game yeah, history. So deep-rooted there, man. They had the classic first to ten uh, back at Yomi. And um, it all started because King That's made right. the biggest argument that you could react to Shinnok's overhead. Yeah. Cowboy then proceeds to hit him with said overhead <laughs> at <laughs> yeah. least 50 times yeah. in the course of those oh, 19 that. games. A 10-9 set. Mm -hmm. Fantastic. Never forget it. And Cowboy came out on top. Um yeah. Past that, they went to SCR 2015, and Forever King defeated Wound Cowboy to advance the top eight right after that. So the jabs back and forth, you know, it, it's there. You know, King made his thread about the potential top five players in NRS history. He named himself. Understandable. He has a strong argument. Yeah, And he it could definitely go either way, and Cowboy is someone who has an argument for it as well. I'm so with that. Just so much, man. Here we go. What better way than head to head in the fighting game? No, and, and it's nice too because in this top eight, we have some people who are, you know, really the face of the scene at this point Sonic Fox. Absolutely. Absolutely. Uh, and But then there are also other very young, strong players, right? Raptor, Dragon, yes. uh, uh, Beyond Toxin, and then you still have these vets. Yeah, so Samij the long -time himself. Vets. Samij is like 17. Yeah, Samij super young as well. Yeah. Why do these kids come and take all of our money? I'm so sick of it. This is a young man's game. It is true. I have to blow these young men up. It's Sonic a young Fox, man's game. the apparent best player in the world, can't even sink a controller. How does he do it? How does he do it? Don't give me that look, Sonic. Hey, you know what? Just because you're an <laughs> expert in some things doesn't mean you're an expert in everything. That's right. He only plays the game. I guess yeah. once the characters are selected, that's when he turns it on. That's right. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're still setting it up there. It looks like they're... They're working on it. Yeah, a they bit. owe us a fantastic set at this point. Yeah, that's right. Come on, folks. As the crowd screams on. You can see King <laughs> in the background there, sitting next to another one of the strongest yeah. players in NRS history. Michelangelo is right there. I thought about saying DMS, but I decided against the joke. Yeah, well, DMS is right there as well. Yeah. Uh, Samiz, Excited, as you can see. Young Samiz staring into the camera. Uh -huh. Toxin tossing his jacket down. We saw him Toxin yesterday right in there. his match against Tweety when he went down. Yeah, he took, he it, took off, it off. And he yeah. was some type of freedom he needed. You know, he was. You know, you don't, you don't want to be constricted. You know, yeah. you got to have movement. You have to be able to be free. Do your thing. All right, Show illusion. off the guns a little bit. And Dragon on the far, far right as well. You can only see half of his face. All right, well, Illusions, he's not amused so 
he's just chilling right now. If, if you had to, if you had to bet on which characters these two guys are going to end up with <sighs> in, at the start, what would you go with? Um, Sorcerer Quan Chi for illusions. Okay. And I don't know, because I have the strangest feeling he's going to pick uh, Hollywood Cassie on uh -huh. Sonic, but. I'm not sure how he feels about that matchup because he, he's he's playing Sector the most nowadays. Yeah. And he's gone to Cassie, you know, more often than not. Yeah, he played her a lot this, this weekend. Illusions, a bunch of uh, Quan, uh, some Sun God. Yeah, I pers personally, I'm, I'm hoping for the Kotal. Yeah, me as well. He Kotal's actually my, favorite, characters in my the game. favorite character in the game to watch. Okay. I love Kotal. Like, since so, day one, yeah, me if too, you dude. take it all the way back to Combo Breaker Alucard at the yeah. first one in 2015, yeah. his run. And just Kotal in general, that's a He's fantastically so designed character. Oh, like his you. moveset, like he is a con, and I can feel it. Yep, yep. You know, it, I'll tell you, day minus 30 or whenever Fatal 8 was before <laughs> the thing came out, you better believe. As soon as I turned on the game, yes, Kotal Khan, right Absolutely. there. Absolutely. That's been my, my, All right. my man ever since. And All right, we so go. what are the, we going to do? The princess is on the screen. She's immediately moved away to my profound here, sadness. Well, here's, here's what I wonder. Are they going to. Is it just going to select Cassie and they're just going to play it out, or are they going to have a blind pick or what? Oh, okay, Kotal. Well, there it is. Kotal and Cassie. Right on point. Sun, Sun God, God it is yes. up against Hollywood. Cassie blows the bubble, pops it in the face of a con. Okay. Will we praise the sun? Oh, and I love that. She gives him the finger. He kind of yeah, just like, waves it off. You know, in Outworld, we don't care about that, you know. Well, here we go. We're starting off the top eight. Finally, Kumite in Tennessee, 2017 MKX. All right. Sonic Fox and Illusions. And straight into it, real men. No button check gimmicks. Oh, okay, and there you go. Starting off with a tick very early. All right. Leveling it up a little bit. He was waiting. Looking to praise the sun. Look at this patience so far. Great jump, but no punish there. And the sun disc. Pisa on delivery. Plus on block stuff. And Illusions is fantastic at anti-airing. Mm. But the thing is, uh, he's playing Hollywood now, Sonic is. But in Brawler, that jump kick can convert into the air throw. Meter burn for 40% meterless. And I've watched them play this matchup. And Illusions is afraid to anti air. Let's see if he realizes that it's not Hollywood. Ooh. I mean, that it is Hollywood. A little late on and the 4-1. On. And there is Sonic Fox. Yeah, the chip damage. Now, I like Illusions, you know, walking and blocking underneath the gunshot. Okay, not there. That's what he was doing before. Very important. All right, and using the frames from the interactable. I love that. Yeah, the save stamina the, list. Yeah, save combo. the run. So good. All right, jump He's out. out. <laughs> now she's out. Let's just trade. There positions. it is. He gets through. And Can't Sonic always Fox, do the same tick. Yeah, he's challenging everything. Yeah. EX nut punch back to back. What's it going to be? Oh, the throw? so smart. Look at all this meter on Illusion's side. And when has he had a chance to use it? Okay, he was waiting there. He Trying to base something out. And Sonic using okay, the interactable. Okay, make this big. Illusion's final. He's going to spin the meter. He's in position. Cash is out. Ooh, very boot. nice. Chip and it out. Just enough chip damage on the EX guns. Sonic Fox taking game one. Mm, okay, here's Illusion sticking with it. And I like it. He, he got a little bit of momentum there at the end, but again, Sonic Fox does not care. He yeah. knows when Illusions wants to push the ante and has hit him with the invincibility. There is, oh, I feel like that's exactly what Illusions was looking for. He was looking for the jump and he didn't get the anti-air. He had down one, probably was looking for air throw. All right, nice whiff punch. Gonna get the full combo this time. Spins the meter, knocks him down, hard knockdown, cashes out. Yes, and the jump coming kick. in again. Priority. But again in this immediate escape, Sonic Fox already doing work. Back right. in. Spins the bar on the EX power flip to get out safe. Oh, and no oh, punish. No punish there. Sonic Fox pressure, and here's the run. Yes. And a nice conversion. Nice. Oh, that was so sick. And Sonic's forced to break there. Next hit. Okay. Oh, he went to it again. It's yeah. been a while. And Sonic Fox tried to back dash. You saw the red flash. He didn't have the stamina. Ooh. And this is going to kill. Yes. And level he's at, three. Yeah, he's at level three command grab now, so they're all going to be damaging. Unless he cashes out. Yeah, and the crowd praising the sun all at once. Mm, look at that glow. Yeah. Burning. All right, keeping it safe. And nice, nice whip punish. The footsies. Both of these characters are so strong in that range. Oh, and no whip punish from Illusions, but picking up on each other's tendencies now. There it Down is. Four. He's really mixing it up, too, when it comes to which buttons to tick with. Good damage. What's he going for afterwards? Okay, just Oh, wanted. and the delayed wake up coming in handy. A great tool in any fighting game when you know someone wants to throw something meaty out there. And again, the challenge. Sonic Fox seemingly knowing each time Illusion wants to go for that grab. I tell you, yeah, he's, he's such a good success rate. Should be the round here. Oh, nice. and a little swag on the end. Some instant air guns to build just a little bit of meter. Illusion's caught in the corner. And patient, worried even. No anti-airs, again. 
It's Backing off, here's... Whoa, no. All right, and now Illusion's just tossing out the back once. No command grabs after Sonic has conditioned him. Oh, here is a big chance. Yes, please, Then takes two bars. All right, he has no bar. If Illusion opens him up now, we're looking at upwards close to 60% mm, yeah, this with could the be level big. through cash in. Okay, yes, he gets the command grab first. X-ray is ready as well. Keep All bars. Mind. Sonic Fox has no meter. Yeah, got it, got to harass. Oh, regular, <laughs> wake up, there's the line. This man <laughs> knows no fear, no boundaries, but Illusion. Oh, it was too late. Getting close here. Look at all that meter immediately gone, just Clutch like that. moments. Sonic Fox grab. He's pressuring. Yeah, taps the outworld jewels one time. Wake up down four. And there we go. He That's finally what he's been looking Sonic for. The outside. He's going to get the full damage from the level three. <laughs> and the crowd is screaming. Yes, this. he's close to chip death. Okay, what's it going to be? Illusions. Oh! It's in control, has the life lead. No, but why? To summon the EX Sunlight. Yeah, he wanted sun for now sure. He has no meter. There it is. And the down four, just enough. Sonic has reacted and whiff punished that, and Illusions did it anyway, clipping him just enough to tie it up at one game apiece. Okay, looking for a command grab, I think, was Sonic Fox. Ooh, and Illusions got a little slick there, tried to whiff an air throw full oh, screen. Really? Oh, really? Oh, really? punished. Back to this screen. I just don't think that's going to work out. You're not going to be throwing too many pizzas those air in this matchup. so instant. Yeah. Sonic Fox keeping Illusions at bay, forcing him to inch in ever so slowly. Plus four. Mm -hmm. And challenge with the raw flip kick. Here's a chance on the punish. Landing recovery. Illusions. On your knees. Getting some damage. Leveling up the grab a little bit. Oh, okay. Yeah, and immediately uh, summons that sunlight. Goes yes. up to level three on the command grab. Yep, next command grab is already at max. And there we go, the whiff yeah, point. I, I like Fox that from Sonic Fox. Force the break. Mm -hmm. If he gets opened up again, it Should will be spell the death. Raw nut punch, no meter? What is happening? Chip, not quite death. And the magic oh. pixel, and that's a punish. No, hold on. Whiff. It should have been, but Woo. Sonic Fox comes in anyway. Yeah, he's had two chances to punish that. Holy Neither one is he taken. He's very surprising my, by Sonic Fox. Playing with my heart right now. <laughs> Whiffing flip kicks. We all know what the Magic Pixel does in video games. Mm -hmm. The Guile theme start magically playing somewhere in the world. And if you can answer its calls, you can end up in a classic match on the wrong end of it. Illusions. Oh, he was expecting to jump down one, though, from Sonic Fox. Checks it. All right, checks him with the Plus, down four. Oh, no, but why? Plus frames. Look at these little checks now from Sonic Fox. He's really starting to take control of those scrambles. Yeah, and just trading turns here in the traditional sense. Your negative, my turn. Yeah, but if Less that keeps disrespect. up, then it's bad news for Illusions. He's already down on life. He can't keep that kind of game up. All right, use the interactable to get out. He's going to toss the pizza in. Oh, gets the first hit. Sonic's not going to break here. He's going to go for the optimal stuff. Spins the bar. Oh, was he waiting to get to the other side? If so, that's so smart. Yeah, and here we go. No meter for Cassie once more. Okay, so now, Illusions, frames. he's potentially a hit away from doing this. He and was looking to chase down again. Oh, Remember the nice flip tech. last time? He would have been dead. Oh! oh that actually might be enough. Chip Isn't death enough? afterward. Yeah, there might be enough raw. And the sun. It is. Yes, praise the sun. Illusions going toe-to-toe, -to -toe, round for round with Sonic Fox. Into the corner, just like that. Looking right, for overhead, no. Oh, and oh, the yeah. overhead portion of that down forward one catching on. Sonic Fox, easy confirming his shoes going in. Double, triple flip kicks. Overhead. Oh, okay. Yeah. Wow, well, this is everything. Yeah, yeah uses the plus out. frames. Late NJPs grant you a lot of plus frames. Oh, that's it. What a read. Sonic Fox didn't take the bait on down one, which could have been into a tick throw. Yeah. Instead, he waited for the next one, down four into it. And just as sure as Sonic got the first hit, that round was over in about 15 seconds. Yes. That was Again. an answer if I've ever seen Look one. at these little, yeah, it's really starting to become apparent that Sonic Fox has reads on when to, to end those scrambles, right? Yeah. To take and control of them. And there's the back dash, watching Sonic whiff an entire string, easy whiff punish for oh. Illusions. I like the idea for Illusions, but just a little bit too late. Trading pokes. Great Illusions block. with great blocks. Oh, I like the idea from Sonic Fox, but not quite there. All right, the overhead's going to get in. The save, three hits, 18%. Solid damage at all times. Yeah, okay, well, again, pretty sick. And really? This, okay. That was risky. This is a punish, but his life is coming back, and Sonic is losing health. A trade for the life bar that isn't moving Yeah, I really didn't 18%. do too much there. Yeah. Illusions, though, still in a bad situation. Has one bar, and, this and is that's going to be chip. chip. Yeah. So... Match point now, Sonic Fox. I like some of what Illusions has done, but Sonic Fox's set has gone on. is really taking more control. All right. Illusions back is to the wall. 
All right, Ketasonic doesn't get the conversion. He's mm. going to whip the string and get beat out by the back one on Wake Up. Plus Ooh. frames. Oh, he ran forward looking for the back dash? Look, yeah. I don't know. And Look again, the EX Nut Punch. Can we get a statistic on how many successful EX Nut Punches oh, we I have? I don't think they've been blocked yet. Yeah, outside of combo, Sonic Fox has hit, I'm pretty sure, 100%. I of think them. so, too. That was plus. But here's... Mm. Yeah, using the invincibility from the interactables. That's and right. again, oh my god, Illusions is essentially losing this set to Sonic Fox, taking advantage of his over-aggressiveness. Oh, just in interrupting. There it is. The big boot finish. And there it is. That's a it. Sonic Fox ends up taking it. I really think as that set went on, that Sonic Fox started to get a better handle on when, in those little unsure moments, yes. he should do something, take control, and he did. Well, Illusion's still very much alive. Oh, it yeah. is the winner's portion. He will face the winner of Wound Cowboy and Forever King. But we're going to keep it moving in the winner's bracket, I believe. I think so. That means we're going to go over to... As we ship it back over to Guido. That's right. Go to the house mic and see what he has to say. All right, guys, that was the first match. Now we got a uh, Noble Dragon. The kid is a walking meme, people. Love him, though. All right, Young Dragon. Where's his Noble Raptor? All right. Now pay close attention to this picture coming up. <laughs> also, guys, let's give it up for Top 8, all right? These guys went through a lot of killers and pools. I was so hyped for this dragon player card. <laughs> oh, yeah? Oh. Okay. You had to spoil it, huh? <laughs> I did. Look at him. He's looking at the camera. What do you got? Oh, they did. Oh, it. what? Oh, okay. th what a crazy thing. Yeah, yeah the, whole, the whole crowd boosts. Well, maybe they'll release the secondary one. The whole crowd. But Dragon did. Rude. He was dabbing in the photo. Ah. And it was cringe as yeah. Dragon oh, is. That, but that, that photo itself right there is part we cringe. We used the default one and... I'm sad, but it is what it is. It is. <laughs> He's got a nice necklace on. Yeah, man, yellow everywhere, man. Like we said, Nobles, you know, just ransacked this top eight. They're here, and they're not going anywhere. Three of them in winners, so this is not the right. last you'll see of them anytime soon. Well, one of them is no longer in winners. Yeah. That's because Sonic Fox has made it into winners finals, and now either Raptor or Dragon is one of them is going to go to winners finals and play Sonic Fox. The other one will go down and play... Let's see, the winner of Wild Cowboy and Forever King. Uh, oh, did that switch up? Okay. I guess so, yeah. So Illusions is going to play uh, either Beyond Toxin or Semuge. All right, got it. So the last time we saw Raptor, I believe, was, was, at, was at Evo. And uh, he was right there knocking on the door right outside of the top eight. Before that, we saw him at Combo Breaker. Yeah. And he took home third place. Yeah, super Eliminating impressive. Sonic Fox in that great run. If anybody can do it, it's him. He's yeah. already proven that he can. It's and even. now we're going to get the pretty little princess. What do you think about this matchup, this character you play, obviously? All right, Hellfire's, it's great. Um, He's actually going Royal Storm here. I think it's pretty even, okay. honestly. It's it's not like any, you know, thing overwhelms. Yeah. It's just, it's just going to be solid play. And uh, Dragon's going to have to watch it on the fans because this man will react with a teleport. I was just going to say, yeah, I'm sure that's a big part of it. But Hellfire is still very strong. The cancels are on point. He's able to mix, play very safely, and get around movement-wise as we get into the button check. Oh, my God. I'm so proud of these boys. A button check where they only literally just pressed every button. Yeah. Oh, you, you're well, right. A special well, there's a special move, move but look. But that's only, it was almost good. Yeah. I mean, knowing what we come from. Yes. Okay, it could be worse. Far cry from... Okay, now it's All right, buddy. Kill. Yeah, you're, you're ruining um, your guys, rep now. Oh, it was almost good. Come you know, on. I thought it was a new day. But apparently not. Apparently not. Profound sadness. We Come gotta on, do folks. better, guys. Yeah. <laughs> we gotta do better. Anyway, winner semi right. Noble Raptor, Noble Dragon. Just Whoa. like that here is already Raptor yeah. teleporting. And over. what you saw there was actually a fan from Dragon, the down forward. Oh one. yeah. But since he teleported, it turned into down back one, and That's he got right. the lift. Mm -hmm. That was very risky by Raptor opening yes. the match with EX teleport. Playing patiently. Oh, wow, he actually got the down one check first. Yeah, did the cancel. Taking his time is going to let Dragon know that, hey, I will teleport these fans. Yeah, you have to worry about a character like, oh, really? And lift in the neutral. I love it. Uh-huh. Because most high-level players are at any range ducking the fans. 
if you, you don't react quick enough, that lift will catch you. Right. You know, so you just take advantage. You see him block there just, just in case. Oh, and the gets over. Here's stuff. the grab. Down one last time. This time a grab. Raptor is currently obeying the golden rule against Katana for every player worldwide. Yeah. Rule number one, <laughs> do not jump. He has not jumped yet. Oh, uh, this, well, hey, that he saw the jump first. Yes. There you go. Yeah, I will give him the benefit of the doubt that he oh, has the reaction to see the that. Combo. X-ray in the first round. Very nice. The smart stuff from Raptor, understanding he was near an interactable, arming it through. After the forward two to a four string, you have a chance to Ooh. do anything. So Raptor started off the second round about as crazy as the first, and, and this time Dragon was looking out for it. Played yeah, patiently, didn't time, commit. Dragon knows that he's not going to commit to a raw teleport, so he's going to check him on those cancels. Oh, wow, out of the air. Here you go. Oh, he was looking for counter poking. He was right. Dragon forced the break early. Raptor's in. Mm -hmm. Plus frames, and the EX teleport is going to challenge the frame trap. The drop, but I did like the idea. All right, going with the safe, safe stuff. Yes. Ah, wow, again, the air to air, the reset. Wow. Oh, nice tech. And that is going to be plus. Tries the to fall the dunk. Look at Dragon. Very cautious uh, neutral game Absolutely. right there. Absolutely. Great patience there. Raptor trying to bait out another counter poke with that flame aura. Okay, cancels it, and he's out of the corner. All right, jumps over. Look at his patience, too. No attempted anti air. He's looking for float. Wow. Oh, and really? Dragon she stayed did, over? Yeah, he didn't expect it to hit. He yeah. didn't toss a string after. Was no, he thought he was going to get hit. Sure. And a nice challenge. No kick confirmed into the fan. But this is going to be Death Dragon going into the DP before Raptor Stamina come back, disallowing him a chance to break. It's just great awareness and understanding of the game's mechanics by both yes. players at all times. Back to this full screen stuff. Raptor, yes. Harassing right. with that or looking to react just with to something with teleport. And you can see as Raptor's walking back, he's crouching a lot. Yes. He's buffering that teleport. Absolutely just inputting it just in case. All air right. to air. Again, it's so tough to challenge that kick. Yeah, and Scorpion's jump three, one of the better air attacks in the game, coming yep. in at six frames and massive priority. Wow. Oh, okay. That's an interesting idea. Didn't I, work. Didn't I work. like it. Yeah, yeah. goes under. Dragon's going to get the full combo punish here. And the an knockdown. interesting choice. Goes again. for the hard knockdown right in his face to keep Scorpion at bay. Wow, pain. okay, overhead just like that. Oh, overhead again, it would've worked, but too late. The right. trade. Double pokes into the throat. This is going down to the wire. Oh, and Dragon whips the throw. Oh! Oh, what's going Can on? Can he get close? Oh, oh what it? a reaction! But why? Look, what a reaction! You know Raptor has those reactions, and you know he's putting himself on that far side. Like we said, he's buffering that anyway. Why would Dragon do that? That was ridiculous. That square wave move is 11 frames startup, and he saw it before it got to him. Now, I think it would have stopped a little bit short, but either way, catching the recovery with the EX teleport. Young Raptor. I mean, that was amazing by Raptor, but at the same time, on Dragon's side. But why? But why? I apologize. That's, that's like a KP move. So the students of Katana, they just, I don't know, man. I know how it feels to watch it from the other side <laughs> now, and, and now yeah, I feel yeah. bad. <laughs> the commitment. What yeah. a close game, and just like that, it's 1-0. That feels like it was forever, though, that one game. Yeah, absolutely. That's just a testament to Raptors' defense at this point, not dropping, uh, jumping, or giving Dragon free opportunities, because the, the princess hits like a truck. Yes. Without meter, with meter, anywhere on the screen, as you're going to see, 40-plus percent, okay. but Raptor electing to break. Very smart. And just taking his time, not forcing the issue. And not going into the air almost at all. It's really only been air to airs. There, there you, you go. go. Right on cue. But it seems like Dragon, like, he doesn't want to keep that space. It's, it feels like he gets uneasy and all of a sudden he wants to square wave. He wants to jump. All right, Raptor with that cancel teleport to get away. Free up the space between them. Not too concerned, just ducking the fans at this point. And that is going to be a punish. Nice. He will not have the meter to break this time. Dragon keeping it simple. Hard knockdown right in his face. Was waiting just in case. Oh, oh, yeah. And a bait on the x-ray. That is going to hurt. Oh. Rapt, uh, Dragon has no resources, but okay. hits fundamentals. Yeah. Nice walk back. Trip guard with the standing one. And even though he lost his meter, he was able to secure the round. And I like the way that he did it. It was by playing in that neutral. Again, it, felt, it feels to me like he's getting a little bit anxious sometimes. So good to see that. All right. Great conversion here. See that the down one clipped him in the air. Is able to convert. OK, it's going to happen sometimes. Oos, oos. And the uppercut back into the corner. What's it going to be? Plus frames. Patience. The block. He's had that block consistently. Yeah, and Katana's air-to-air -air move. No slouch right there. That jump two coming in at five frames. One of the faster in the game. 
Oh yeah. Wow. Dragon doing it preemptively because it has so many active frames. Very as nice. Well. Backed off. Other side of the screen. Great conversion. A lot it's of damage keep available. It simple. Mm -hmm. There's no breaker. He's gonna go for the setup. Oh, get away, Punish. He was not quite there. Yeah, and those are the oh, oh punish. no, and big this is bet. Gonna be death. Will we see the swag? And Raptor's gonna disallow it. Ties <laughs> it up yeah. at one game apiece. You see, I'm a man who swag combos. I would have kept it going if he didn't pause it. Shouts out to Player 2 being able to pause in this game. Yes, uh, there's something to be said for that. You got to restart it. You know, you don't want to see it. That's okay. Blocking. All right. Goes for the overhead. Gets the all-important first hit meter game bonus. That's true. Yeah. He's going to be able to take a risk right now. Spend some bars. He's going to have two bars very soon. So he'll be able to break. Oh, okay. Back grab. See what Raptor does. It's been pretty light. Oh, and a punish on that fireball. It drops the cancel on Raptor's end. As soon as he got the bar, he was out of there. All right, gets the Hellfire going. I All really right. like Dragon's game right now. I love it. And catches the teleport before it leaves yeah, the screen. Right. Yeah, he did. Oh, a chance, but it was too late. She recovers very quickly. All right, nice grab. Every piece of damage adding up. 12% for a throw. A couple percent chip on a fan. Here's the grab. Yep, 12 right there. Oh, with punish. He was and too he's late. Punish that with was the so X-ray. What a choice. Absolutely. Katana builds meter. You know, Raptors playing his game slowly but surely, allowing Dragon to toss as many fans as he wants. Yeah. So that works in his favor. He's going to build this meter right back. Yeah, that was only in the first round, after all. Built the whole bar in the first round. Oh, and the dunk. Grab. The mix-ups have been pretty light from, from Raptor. Oh. And there you go. Tries to open him up with the overhead dragon, able to react in time. Blocks it. And he has blocked almost all of them. All right. Dunks again. And dragon. Wow, wake really? up, buttons, baby. Raptor gave him the benefit of the doubt. All right. Trades the Hellfire. Another one. He's trying to get dragon to jump in the range he would like to, so he can hit him with that air to air jump three. Interesting stuff from Raptor. Yeah, Raptor seems like he's really just playing a waiting game. He's and looking for dragon to make a mistake. And that was a punish. Didn't have the range for the fireball cancel. All okay, right, yep, tries to open low. him up with the low. He has had the overhead a couple of times, but that's so much less scary than the low. Whew. And trading interactable escapes. No one wants to be in his corner. Oh, and oh. a raw DP gets away with yeah, it. Yeah, Raptor didn't. Uh, he was looking for the, the extra after that. And that's a smart stuff there with the forward throw. Any other game or any throw, period with your back to the wall, the player's gonna assume you wanna toss him into the corner. So I would assume that Dragon would break that way, but Raptor taking the round, more important than positioning, he'll work with it in this final round. Especially with a character like Scorp with such mobility. All right, throw. So there's more bulldogging out from Raptor. It's not just the waiting game that he's been playing in the first oh, couple games. Whiffs. He's going in more. The cancel, that might be the first such situation that we've seen. I don't know, it's only been a couple oh, of so. Oh, and this is going to hurt. Upwards of 40%, oh, close to 50, oh, here's on, the lift. On. I know you want to play the whole 10 second combo, 47% for And Dragon. no meter and the hit, and that should be and the game. And that was beautiful. That's like the MKX version of the shimmy. You just walk forward on your opponent, you just keep going, and right when they think it's time, you hit them with that mid, open them up, and Dragon. Yeah. One game away from a date with the Fox. I mean, it's not a match between these two characters with super strong high or low, right? They yeah. both have those options, but it's really more about the neutral game. Absolutely. All right. Raptor's going to get the first hit this time. Keep it simple. Tries wow, to dunk and a great one. conversion from Dragon. Dragon is getting so much good. Back to this sort of waiting game. Gentle approach from Raptor. He's up close now. Overhead, but the block. Ooh, and out of range whiffs that standing kick. Dragon's going to get the full whiff punish. Delayed fan for the combo continuation, 35%. Still no meter on Raptor's side. Still caught. Tried to poke out. Duh. Oh. And great patience. And Dragon here, he's giving up the overhead instead of getting hit with that low into the fireball yeah, cancel. right. He'll take the 6 7%. Yeah, again, yeah. You know, they, they both have lows that lead into things. The overheads are knockdowns, and that's yeah. basically it. Oh, and the trade's going to work out in Raptor's favor. Great conversion. Able to pick it up. Finish the combo. And Scorpion's just going to take a little, <laughs> little dive to hell right quick. You know, yeah. come back out on the other side. It's all good. I think Raptor started to notice that Dragon has been counter poking more in that pressure. And that's when you bring out the activation. Oh! oh! There it is. Going to oh. armor out. And again, the second that time. That just hasn't worked. Yeah, it doesn't work. He's going a little too low under. 
All right, into the lift. She's so royal. Like, have you seen her moves? She's just perfect yeah. and yeah. the best ever. Look at those sticks in her hair. They glow in Royal Storm variation. All right, David. I she she has cool gameplay. She's, I like her neutral game. Okay, because I will not stand that's for, all that matters to me. for Katana Slander. I will not have this. All right? Respect the princess. And Was looking for a counter poke there, but hey, didn't didn't come. Still pressuring, though. Fully stocked is Dragon. All right. And you know, every Katana player, when they have three bars, they turn into Sonic. Ooh! We're the best in the yes, world. Yes. And now he doesn't have access. He's back to Immortal. And Raptor's going to take his time. Health about the same. Raptor, huge advantage. So in good. If you can make the opponent pay attention to that mid-screen like that, you can get the run-up grab. That's exactly what happened. Yeah, the run-up grab, such an effective tool in this oh, game. What? Wow, and he breaks. Raptor wants this, and he wants it now. Look at the Hellfire. safety from Dragon, staying 18 away. 18 seconds on the clock. Staying away. Will he throw anything? He <laughs> he took a chance. He took a big chance. I feel like that's exactly what Dragon wanted. Yeah, he was waiting on it. He stood his ground, didn't even block after the teleport, and simply hit him with that royal jab right to his face. One round away for Dragon. All right. All right comes in. Caught trying to run in. He's going to eat the brute of that forward two. It's going to be a corner carry all the way to the other side. Throat slice. And back to this neutral game zoning. Back yeah. to the patience. And Dragon has the entire level to work with. Yeah, that's, Working that's, his way back in zoning. You know, if you're a zoning character like this, having more space behind you means you're more dangerous. All right. And the dunk again. Dragon simply refusing to give up the low. Getting away. And Raptor back to this patience. Again, it seems to me like he wants Dragon to make mistakes. Wow, and there he goes. Gets and in. There just have been so few mistakes. And Dragon presses the button first. He's going to be able to break. And the smart stuff, unbreakable X ray. This will kill. And Dragon's going to advance to meet Sonic Fox in the winner's final. Oh, I know my X ray damage. Trust me. Oh, no, yeah, yeah. I, wasn't, I wasn't worried. And the fatality. I love it. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. You know, you thought it was cool when the princess mounts you, and then now you have no brain. Yeah, that's a headache. Wow. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> no. Yeah. Not like this, <laughs> Guido. Hey, but that, <laughs> like, hand, hands off to Guido for that. Wow, I think I just got booed I can't believe he tried it, but I respect today. the heart. So in case you... The boos were not for Dragon winning. The people no. love the set. Yeah, everybody should hand him a boo. But Guido did say... That's a headache, and the crowd responded accordingly. Out. All right, guys, how you liking the action so far? We've had a couple of good matches. All right, next up, we've got one more noble, Beyond Toxin! There he and is. He's going to take on the Florida Wonder Boy, Samij! All right, now this is hard for me. PTG. This Sorry. is the Florida Boys team kill. Young Toxin. Young Samiz. For Toxin, though, obviously he wants to do well. But yeah. having at least gotten into a top eight, I Finally. feel like he's already, you know, met one of his goals. Yes. One of his significant goals. And it's the start of 2017. Yeah, start man. of the new year. What better time to do it? You set those resolutions and you, what is it? The eighth? He already got it. There you go. The Soul Master. We're going to see Ermac first appearance in a minute. Uh, we didn't really see much Ermac action at NEC. And here's Toxin is, uh, here he is, bringing the push to the top eight. And Samiz with the casual piece. Yep. Just letting you know, hey, there's nothing casual about Melina or her gameplay. She is abrasive. She is overwhelming. And she gets the job done. The ethereal variation, having yeah. access to the EX fade, which so is good. one of the greatest moves Probably in the history of fighting games, Invincible on frame one. Yeah, she yeah. disappears. She does. Yeah, you can grab her out of it, sure. Yeah, sick, bro. Watch uh, when he comes back immediately and punishes you for yeah. trying to do it. Yeah. I just, I just like watching his movement. Any gap, any wake up, any string, any counter poke, any tick. If Samich feels it, he likes that fade. Rock escapes, and then more times than not, gets the ball rolling and is comboing you in a half a frame later. How does the matchup usually go when these guys play? It's been a while, man. We haven't seen Toxin since Evo. Oh, he hasn't come out even local. He hasn't. Yeah, he hasn't come out. We oh. haven't had any regionals down in, in Florida in a while. Okay. Um, should be starting all up back soon. You know, leading up to the big CEO. Yeah, but of course. Yeah. Yeah, it, it's been a while. We've seen these guys recently. Uh, Samij a lot in the Combat Cup series. Yeah. Bunch of top eights there. You know, one of the top point earners currently. Um, he actually may be number one, I believe. 
And if not, he's number two. But he's right there. He's had classic bouts with Sonic, beating him, you know, even. And Toxin's kind of just been laying low. He's played as well, doing his thing. A couple top eights and just cruising. But here he is again, home, where he wanted it most. In losers, but still one of the remaining eight players. All right, so Samij on the left and Toxin on the right. Playing our Mac. And there, there you go. go. The EX Fade. He wants nothing to do with that. Oki in the corner. Alexa, spin the meter immediately. And that's something we've seen from Samij all tournament. He's been spinning the bar as soon as he gets it. He's a man who's not afraid to rock without meter. His tool is disposable. And he oh, will no. continuously use it every single time. So again, Toxin on the two-player side there. All right. And there you go. He's lucky. Just moving forward enough on that back one-two string so he doesn't get punished. And a nice low profile. A lot of people afraid to challenge Molina's jump in that jump one, being such a great air-to-air -to -air tool. All right. Size. All right, comes in. Tries to base something out with that there. levitate. Samij taking advantage. All right, simple B and B is gonna get the roll. Lovely backdash, trying to escape. All right, caught trying to press a button, eats the poke, using the plus frames to go for the throw attempt. Oh, okay. Gets a sigh at least. At least. Toxin, patience. Both guys trying to fill each other out in the neutral space. There you go, catches them. Nice ticks with the forward three. I just really like the timing on Beyond Toxin's attacks. He's so good at staggering. And there's a conversion. Anti-air dashing back under. It's going to get the jump in. Toxin Ooh. back dashing, wanting nothing to do with this. Hold on. Any hit's going to do it. Keeping it and going. He's just challenging him. There it is. Down one finally. Okay. I thought we were going to see like a forward four x-ray or, yeah, right, yeah. you know, some, some super wild stuff, I yeah. want this now. <laughs> yeah. All right. EX Safe, push. Of course. All right, low into the overhead. Samish not watching the false condom's head. Just like that, Samish is out. Oh, and what there a is a move. gap in that string. Mm -hmm. Gets through a couple of slaps. The roll jumping back over, trying to catch the back dash. Very nice interruption from Tox, and he was looking for that as well. Wow, and again with the down one anti here, Samish having none of it on cross up. Full combo this time. Yes. And that was so slick. Pressure saw afterward. A after the roll, Samiz did the jump back. So he kept Toxins back towards the corner. And just like that, two combos, a couple of screens from the crowd, and Samiz is up one game to zero. <laughs> young Toxin taking a sip. That young Gatorade getting some of those electro likes. You know, these kids in their energetic ways. They need it all. Yeah. Hyper boost, go to the next level, summon the souls. If we can get the soul of Big D to just slide through the Panda X gaming airwaves, send him the Toxin, and all of you Ermax can celebrate victory together. Yeah, I mean, he's a collection of souls anyway, Absolutely. right? All right, low, double low. Low, blocked it correctly. Wow, it's going to reach comes, out. comes, and there's the break just like that. Oh, nice. I love that jump. And there you go. The jump back to keep Toxin on the left side, back to the corner. And chooses to just play neutral. All right, easy enough. Will we pressure now? No, very light. Looking for EX push. There is a bar there. All right, using the plus frames from that string to send his pokes first, trying to keep Toxin honest. And there the low is. overheads worked. No. Oh, look at this. Yeah, and Toxin's will really he break? smart He's not, not to bother. break here. Yeah, yeah, absolutely not. Sometimes you just know what it is. An 80% life lead is time to concede the round. Right, meter can be pretty precious. All right, Grab. gets the throw into the corner. Ground pound right into her chest. Wow. Look at that. Okay. Challenge. Pressuring. Down one interrupts. But no cancel. There it is. Look at that, that speed. Is ridiculous. That? The reaction from Young Samij with the EX fade to go through the toss of the barrel, mm -hmm. which uh, Michelangelo calls that a low tier interactive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, and I oh, here it is. Well, Samij expending the meter as soon as he gets it. Yeah, you but give him a gap. Any opportunity, and he's coming for blood. Yeah, he got the control as a result. He was able to take off two bars from Beyond Toxin as a result. All right, runs into the size. Pokes. Again. Look at all this chip, too. That's real right now. Yeah, and the respect after that sequence allowing Toxin oh, really? to be yeah. opened up for Delayed, the Delayed, went in. Samij saw the delay, knew it was time to go. Yeah, and great meaty, timey right, uh, mm -hmm. meaty timing right there. Samij simply in control. Absolutely. 
Uh, the look on Toxin's face, I think the taste of that Gatorade has changed in between matches. And um, maybe let's get him another one. Down 2-0. Tournament life on the line. Toxin needs to perform the classic and run it back. Well, it feels to me like he thinks that some of his options have been taken out by the way that Molina's been playing. You know, she gets through those strings, and as a result, as Beyond Toxin, you don't want to give her that chance, but that means that you're giving up some of your tools. All right, counter pokes with the throw. I respect it. In control. When During this turn, the course of this tournament, Toxin's corner pressure has been extremely well. Yeah. He's been able to keep people there just in terms of pressure and mix-ups. Wow, and it beat the down two clean. Yeah. And we talked about that early. People afraid to anti-air this character yeah. because that jump one. Very strong. Some of the best priority in really? the game. Really? Okay. Moving forward. Great vertical hitbox. That box. it? Well, Chip's going to do oh, it. Oh, and the oh or not. Uh, worked out. And Toxin started with the high. The rest of the string going to sweep under it. And that could have been a major shift of momentum, but chose the wrong button. Ah, uh, not quite there. That's a smart cool. I, I, I like that. Blocking this time rather than trying to down two, we blocked and then right into the EX push. All right, there we haven't seen much EX push from no, Toxin. No, we really haven't. I mean, a lot of his, his bar has been going to break. Absolutely, hasn't had the chance to build it as much. And again, back to back EX pushes now without bar at all. He's gonna have to hold everything. And it looks like Beyond Toxin has the corner, but I, in a couple of situations, I don't feel like he really has control there. He's in the corner, but Samij is the one who's playing active. And there's the reaction. Toxin going for the ground pound. Samij holding his ground until Toxin was on the and way now down. now there's no meter. This is a real bad look. That's yeah. going to be it. And this is it. Samij dominating performance. 3-0. Toxin not happy with his performance here, but still proud of he was able to Conquer the demon at his ninth place, earning himself a slot on the Sunday show. Look, as you move your way up through the ranks, some people, they just hop right in and they're in grand finals, right? They just bust through the, we get into top eight, all of a sudden they're there. No, but for a lot of people, it's not that easy. You move, you move forward. Okay, I got ninth one time. Maybe I got ninth two times. Maybe I, I got ninth yeah. like five times, um, whatever it was for yeah. Uh, yeah. Toxin. And then you get top eight and you have to consider that a victory and even though you Absolutely. didn't do how you wanted to do no within question. that top eight at least you got to think look i got that goal down now i can start to work on All getting right. that fifth well, place that fourth place so forth speaking of top eights here comes two men who are no strangers to a cowboy yeah, is here on his sixth top eight in a row in case you were wondering why he threw it up yesterday on my stage. six top eights in a row forever king no stranger to it himself top eight at nec here again at kit and um we're going to ship it back to Guido. All right, guys. We got one more loser's first round for you guys. First up is CR's own Wound Cowboy. I hear some booing. I'm not sure, though. Was there booing? Wound right, Cowboy. Somebody got. booing him. Forever King. All right, King pandering to the They're crowd. To Will he flex the pecs he today? He is a top five NRS player. It is a rivalry? Yes, so, it is so a rivalry. King, King picked his top five NRS players ever. Yes. What was that list? Do you remember? Good Lord, um, this is a rematch. Sonic Fox. Of course. I forgot about that. That's my ball. Um, himself, not in order. Yeah. I believe DJT, okay. Rio. Okay. I may be wrong on his list because it turned into wildfire of whether or not he's in it. Obviously. So that's what it became. Cowboy with this Shinnok hat. I don't know how I feel about this. Is Cowboy an Elder God? Definitely. But I don't know if Cowboy has right the, now? He doesn't have the, you know. The weird, what? The like, weird, the weird at, posture you know, of uh, Shinnok? Well, He maybe. doesn't have the bony arms of Shinnok? You're right. Well, look, he's kind of, well, that's a Shinnok move. Yeah, that's a Shinnok move right there. He's just breathing. He's like, oh, I have to play King again. Look, he's Yarn. barely awake. Yeah, I think that's kind of shinnok right Can here. he hurry up already? I'm sick of looking at this guy's curls and him texting or whatever he's doing. Can we hurry My up? My man. He, <laughs> this is the <laughs> Somebody <laughs> get this dude a coffee, please. <laughs> he's taking a picture of the crowd while he's up there. King, act like you've been here. No, As actually, we get a you know look. what? I really like this. Oh, yeah. This yeah, is the fantastic handcrafted trophies, correct. the KIT special. The Scorpion one is on the line. That Bowser one is going to the winner of Smash Wii U. We should have one for Mario Kart 8, which I won again this oh, year. Well, What's up? To you. FGC King. Um, no, but look, <laughs> I actually really like King taking as much time as possible. And wait a minute. Is that Doomsday? Is it Doomsday? That is Doomsday, I believe. I don't know. 
Do you? Or is there some? I have here? no idea. Okay. I actually I don't, don't have an idea. No one in the chat is gonna believe me, but I actually have no idea. Yeah, I, mean, I don't know. We in fact did run an injustice side tournament <laughs> yeah. earlier. Sonic Fox beat everybody 3-0. Okay. You know, as expected. Okay. Yeah. And you know that was that. <laughs> Anyway, if I was king right now, I would make as much of a delay as possible because I'm looking over at Wound Cowboy, and that man can barely keep his eyes open. Yeah, and, and uh, Cowboy. Uh, you know what? You got to play that meta game, all right? If you see that your opponent is sleepy, you drag it out. Drag it out. I like it. Young, Don't young, let him focus. Young, young David, you know, with the knowledge. No. Next time, you're going to have to charge for this. Look, when we're in the old folks' FGC Look, home man, teaching the new age of 10 right. years, that's, right. that's going to be a part of the lesson. That's right. Yeah, you got to pay remember, attention to what the opponent looks like. It's we, important. Yeah, we go back to Evo. Our first lesson is going to be choosing your tag because we had hashtag I make her say yes, and um, we weren't too fond of that name. So lesson yeah, number one ones that, uh, will be choosing your name, and then later on in the Ultra David segment, it will be reading your opponent's I don't feel like I can teach anybody body the language. choose your own name thing. <laughs> I, I, when I was 11 years old, my family got AOL. Okay. And I had to sign up with a name. And 11 year old <laughs> me picked Ultra David, and I don't know why. It stuck. It um, sure did. I can tell you that. Here I am 22 years later. Um, do we have to teach people, some in the chat, what AOL is? Because I'm AOL. pretty sure Dragon has no idea what AOL is. Mm, gross. Yeah. We were playing Mario Party, and Dragon goes, Ew, what are these graphics? And we had to immediately kick him out because <laughs> he just... Is Mario Party so old that now those are weird graphics? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> what are the 90s? <laughs> I remember when uh, when the... When uh, when Ocarina of Time was, like, yes. first... Uh, like, there was some press around it, and I saw a picture, okay? And I thought to myself, that's it. Graphics don't get any better than that. We, was, we have reached that plateau. I was like that. And it's never going to be better. <laughs> Final Fantasy VII's <laughs> yeah. first uh, little CMV. And uh, I was like, I can't believe this. I, I, I remember honestly thinking, well, that's it. Yeah, pack it up. <laughs> 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 yeah, we've been around for a little bit. But also. So of these two. And it's going to be Shinnok and... Predator. Yeah, man, a rematch of the classic first of ten we saw not too long ago. King, being the smart man, is going to desync the controllers Yes. to make sure now, um, did, did rest mode doesn't happen. Is King uh, signed up as Forever King? Yes, he is. Oh, I see he is. Is Should he be? Should he remain Forever King for this set between I, these two, considering what happened in that? I don't know. Should set? we have a one night only, the return Wait, of Yomi Burger King? Burger King, maybe come One back night here? only? Who knows? Ah, they're checking the buttons. All right, Cowboy seemingly awake now, not yawning. Serious face on. Yeah, let me look. We talked about how long his career has been in competitive fighting games, and when it's when it's time to get going, he will be there. He will get going. All right, here we go. And King starts immediately, spins the bar on an interactable, and Cowboy's just gonna run up and grab, slap, stamp, slam, boot into what the block cancels. Oh, the jump kick. All right. And we have the full screen. All right, get some zoning out. Hell sparks after the down four, because those are not true block strings. And again, no meter burn. The Cowboy looking to challenge, cloaks up. Trying to control the stage. Unusual situation for Shedanok to be in. Yeah, and we're seeing King. There it is. I was just, just going to mention, the scoop is a big issue here. And when, once you're in range for it, that's something you got to pay attention to as King. All right. We're seeing King trying to zone now. His yeah. recent Predator picks have been mostly rushed down, and no matter the matchup. But here, he knows massive respect for a player of, of Cowboy's caliber. Oh, I love this. The moving forward. All right, cloaked up 30%. And oh, the okay. Beat. Oh, when the shoulder. Here comes Cowboy. He spends the bar on it. Gonna get things going. The One. restand into the dark beam. What's what it gonna do? be? Oh, wow. really? Wow. Now, low laser is known that no matter what, once the move is input, the laser is coming out. So a trade in that favor works. I don't know if King expected the trade, but he certainly yeah. didn't care. He knew that he would put that laser on the screen, and it worked out in his favor. Really interesting play. Into the corner just like that. Wild Cowboy. What's he going to do now, considering that? Oh, slap, slap, slam, boot to the face, and a laugh from the Elder God himself. Overhead. Overhead. Woo. Broken immediately. Health Sparks trying to control space. All right, it's going to be a two-hit combo. Connects the laser after the smart disc. I really like Forever King setting it up. Moving out of the corner. He's done that twice now. Slice. And back to the wall. He's got the corner himself. If he wants it, no, backing off, wants the zone. 
And oh, what a call! Jumps into the smart disc this time. King's gonna get another one out to continue his pressure. And no, Cowboy wakes up, spins one bar for the armor, a second bar for the launcher. EX! And King cannot return no, the favor. Oh, yeah, he didn't have a bar to do it. Yeah, and one of the better gameplay chances this game has ever seen the removal of one bar armored launchers, keeping oh, yeah. people a bit at bay and using the armor simply to get players off you and not to turn the tide so much to lead to massive full combos. Yeah, I love the final patch setups. for MKXL. Look, the, the matches we've had so far today, they are such neutral heavy matches. Yes. That's how the game really is played now. And again, Cowboy, something he doesn't forget, King does not block that overhead often. Oh, the block. And there's the bait, doesn't have the meter to extend the hell sparks in the combo. So he moves forward, I like that. Oh, and this time King blocks an overhead, doesn't quite get the punish yet. Cowboy staying alive. Oops. There it is, meter burn, yes, yep. that was going to be that. And while Cowboy's going to draw first blood. Forever King maybe didn't like it. He tried to zone. That really didn't seem to work that well. All right, and Kane. So it's going to be a complete different story. An immediate switch. Going to Displacer Raid and going to have teleports. King likes to use his movement to get all over. Yes. If Cowboy throws Hell Sparks, a teleport is coming. That is going to be as free as a punish for anybody. Yeah, I think it's, this is it's such a fun character to watch because he can be anywhere almost any time. Yeah, look for Cowboy to adapt and not throw out Hell Sparks as much. So with Cowboy's response is, let's go in. Okay, I'm not going to be able to zone. Fine. I got other things. All right, great reaction. It's going to test Yes, them. right through. What a read. And that's the beauty of getting the first hit bonus. You get that second bar meter. Nice shimmy into the run-up throw. If King is just waiting for Cowboy to try to zone and King, for King to get through it, I don't think that's going to come up. Man, I think Wild wow Cowboy is going to play this differently than that. All right, goes for the unblockable. Gets the Dark Beam out and the big leg. Plus six coming from Raiden. Not spending the breaker. Yeah, and Cowboy keeping it simple, man. Doing Just, the effective yeah. stuff. Taking advantage of the plus frames from the Dark Beam and tapping King in the shin as he tries to escape in whatever way possible. I think that was beautifully played by Cowboy. Different matchup. All played right. differently. Trade some fireballs. Very and that nice. is a punish. Yes. The run up forward one. King's going to drop the combo. Wow. Armored Superman. King EX bobble right through. Yeah, let's go. Take him to the corner. But a little too far out on that jump's gonna get caught. And some armor of his own. Why not? Safe stuff. Mm -hmm. And that Very teleport nice. cancel is plus two on block. King taking advantage of Cowboy trying to press oh, buttons oh. and spinning his meter to keep and Cowboy cornered. Has to spend the bar. All right, so down, down one. Check. Couple of checks they've tacked. Or maybe done one. Yeah, and the forward <laughs> one. The slap to the face. King. Back to the wall. Shinnok has one bar. He has an EX. You know, shoulder ready at bay, or pops it on the hell sparks yeah, for the continuation. Use. Into what? The grab, no beam. Oh, oh the low scoop, the big bet. But it paid off. All right, checking him. Teleports away, teleports back. Down one into the shocker. That is a safe special. Is and that a a, punish? Yes, it was. The that dark was nice. beam didn't recover in time. All right, armor's out. Forward again. He's tried that a couple of times, three times. Only uh, two have worked so far. All right, the shoulder and the reversal throw. Tosses the monk. He has no more use here. Overhead. Overhead. Well, nothing else, though. Very unfortunate for Cowboy. Big leg plus frames. Cowboy's going to challenge them. I love the situation right now for Forever King. He's got to pay attention. He's got to get this going. Oh, wow. no, the wake up jump. And the double armor, Twice. why not? And the tech, Cowboy And that was so beautiful. Ready. That was a forward throw. And the plus frames from the EX Fireball. Wow. Excellent. Seals. He confirmed. The, the jump kick having the priority. King recognizing. Canceling it to the Superman. One to one. God versus God. What's it going to be? Interrupted. Big leg. Oh, very nice. When you know your opponent has frame advantage and they know it, one way to blow it up is just spend your bar. All right, Cowboy doesn't have the meter to extend that. Big leg again, again. plus frames, back dashes out, but the last hit of that string catching Cowboy. Wake up, Sparks. Taking control just like that. Where's Cowboy going? It's going to really? go over with the jump into the low, cancels into the dark beam, and the overhead. Cowboy's going to get what he can from that, finishes in the shoulder. Big leg, plus frames. Wow! Wow, that has some range, huh? And I mean, he caught the tip of the edge of the finger yes. of God, <laughs> the finger of the no. Elder God. No whiff punish there. Big chance not taken. Hits the unblockable. Again, yes, this time he X-Bobbly right into the corner. 
Oh, and the Overhead. back two goes for the unsafe stuff. That is a big risk. And commits to win. This is going to hurt. We're looking at 42% into a restand. Cowboy car pressing a button. He's going to concede this round. And King Look and two that. combos depletes Cowboy's life bar. Well, it was a big risk to take with that overhead. Minus a second on block. Yes. Oh, whips no the overhead. Whip punish, though. Goes for the safe stuff. Checks him again with the down one into Shocker. I love this range that Forever King is playing at. It's yeah. range where he can whip punish things. He's also a threat to react, but Cowboy gets the hit. All right, 29% into the restand. King with the EX teleport wants nothing to do with it. Spending bar, some damage. And now Cowboy's in control. Two combos make it three. There you go. Oh, he oh, didn't want to give the break. Wait a so minute. He, goes, he was trying wait to get a minute. the chips kill. King working with two bars of No, meter. that's going to be it. And the, the delayed wake up Beautiful. from Cowboy. The smart stuff. Rocking back and forth in the chair. Clutches it out. Wound Cowboy. Two games to one. I love him not giving that breaker. He wanted the chip kill right at the, at the start afterward, which made sense. Didn't get it, but and ended up working. King juggling characters again. Back to HQT Predator. Maybe he sees something that he noticed he missed. Maybe he feels more comfortable trying to zone. Whatever it is, he is locked into this character. Yeah, he needs to win the whole set with just this character. But it seems to me like Cowboy has been fine in both matchups. You know, he knows exactly how to play both times. He's oh. comfortable getting in, he's comfortable zoning, he's comfortable mid oh, mid range. The, the punish needs to be here. He's going to spin the bar for sure. Got to get the full combo punish into the air. Smart disc, big leg. Gets and another disc on the screen. Uses that advantage to get the cloak going. Zone. Pew, yes. pew, pew, pew. Looking good. Smart disc. Cowboy scoops. Wow. What a range. He knew it and he gets the overhead. Slow. Pretty safe. Keeping it easy. Wow. wow. Physical. Oh, okay. And that was some excellent timing. Waiting for the invincibility frames to wear off. Exactly. And the down yeah. two. Cowboy with the smarts, the execution, and the knowledge. Again, back to this full screen stuff. Forever King is trying to take control, and he yeah, does. Yeah, and the laser field is going to get the job done. Pew, pew, pew. The Predator himself using all of the weapons at his disposal. Oh, and a good whiff. You know, I like the idea of Cowboy trying to move forward like that, but just not at that spot. Yeah, and four, he's going to pay with 32% and corner position. Yes, going to deal with this. The overhead into the cancel. King with the extension. Smart disc out. Nice pressure. So it was zoning, but just like that, Forever King has turned it into offense. And it's been nice. Look at all this chip. And Armors right through, through exactly at the right it's time. going to keep him down. This is punishment. Cowboy can't get Not anything going, but wait a minute. Yep, it all turned around just like that. He's, he needs a few sequences, and though. The low. He is far away. Oh, and oh, the overhead. Really? And the Guile theme has been playing from across the hall. Overhead again. Cowboy a couple of reads away. The low. Starting it off, he still needs more. And the, the back dash. Ball. No the way. Not like this. Cowboy with the fantastic comeback against Biohazard to make it hit. Oh, he got and it. And he's going to complete. Amazing. Cowboy. Cowboy. Is he a god? I with, think with he is. With performance like that, how can you deny it? I think he is. Yo, Wild Cowboy trying to end King's life right now, not even give him a second chance to breathe. And King is getting chased. He needs to try to set something up. He really hasn't been able to this round so yeah. far. Spins a bar on the EX Lasers Cowboy. Again, just getting chased. Yeah, just going to get the string okay, out fine. there. You know, if the zoning doesn't work out, try the pressure. All right, great mix-up from King doesn't going spend the bar. into the low EX Lasers and a great meaty slaps that wake-up shoulder attempt raw. Right through. And the bar. Will there be breaker? There's not. All right, gonna King has, block. he's going to save it. It's easy to get out of jail, turn. free car, and he spins the bar, spins both, both bars. He's going to have to rely on his defense. Cowboys in with the throw, slap, slam, that. boot. That meter was so precious, the and low the, starts it off. Doesn't have enough. enough. Chip. Oh, and the double back dash was not enough to escape the horizontal range from those bone constructs. And well, Cowboy downs the King, the Elder God, coming in and doing work. And after Forever King put that list up, saying that he was top five, I think that's pretty uh, poetic there. It's pretty direct answer. I would say There's so. There's no yeah, better way to be agnostic about that. Head to head. And while Cowboy shakes his hand, you know, does his shoulders off and goes to sit back in the crowd. That we man woke up. He was looking like he was asleep beforehand. Uh, hold on. Uh, pr um, pr pretty, uh, pretty solid stuff. So, we have winner's finals, Sonic Fox versus Dragon. On one side of losers is 
Illusions versus Samij, and on the other, Raptor versus Wound Cowboy. Oof. That's a I mean, good lineup. Any way you cut it, you're going to get fantastic stuff. I'm waiting to see what Illusions is going to pull out against Melina. I'm not sure who he uses in that matchup. Okay. But in Winners Finals, we have the classic. Sonic yeah. versus Dragon. It's been happening. Dragon has not beaten Sonic yet in tournament. Um, seven losses. Seven. Yeah. You only need the one to break through. That's true. You know? That's true. Because at the end of the day, in. you either win the tournament or you don't. So if you can defeat Sonic, Dragon can definitely win this tournament. Whether or not he does it, it's a new year, it's a new day. It is, but so we, far Sonic Fox looks... Like it's been the same as it has the last Business two, three years usual, in right? the, just in the uh, NRS community. Well, we got to yeah. do something about this, man. Yeah, you know what? It's pin tough. I got to take him out back and lay him it's down. It's tough. And by lay him down, I mean break all of his equipment. Yeah, uh, and then definitely uh, needed a definition make, there. Make him uh, spend so much money that they freeze his accounts so he can't travel. I think travel he's doing just anywhere. fine right now. I know, a little bit. I think he's doing all right for Like himself. we're in desperation mode. We need to do something about this. And Justice 2 is on the horizon. We need to summon all the warriors. So to the great Emperor Theo, yes, uh, CR, nice. if you're alive, we need you. Well, Jupiter, we need you. Yeah, My buddy in Canada, Honeybee, yeah, I you know go. you're ready, buddy. Yeah, I know you're ready. Man. And we got to do something about this, Fox. Next one coming up, Noble Illusions. GTG. Oh, hold up. The double P signs. How do I feel about this? Mm. Who is the nicest member in the community here? Will it be Illusions? Will it be Samij? Samij has some disgusting gameplay, but he's a cool guy. Same with Illusions. He makes the reads. He puts you on your knees, but he means it in good spirits. He just wants to praise the sun. You know, the, the scene has gotten much stronger over the last few years in terms of competition. It is noticeable. And... You know, we talk about this being a young person's game, but I think that's great that there are these talents that are putting their time in, and they're there. You know, they are extremely strong. Sonic Fox obviously is a prodigy. That is a yeah, that's, that is an unusual that's some situation. That's next level okay. stuff. Yeah. yeah, but but even even on top of that, there are players who are developing their skills. Some of them are here in top eight, and as the games move forward, as Injustice Two comes out, for example. We're going to see some of them continue to, to grow. Yeah, that's the great stuff. I mean, it, it it lends the, it helps the narrative that it's not just, you know, these guys have been winning, so they're always going to be winning. No, because oh, no, eventually Illusions and Samiz will be the OGs. Of course. And the next wave will come in. And if these guys, these young guys who, like, are so humble, great players, and are willing to help and teach, become the guys to bring in the new wave, you couldn't ask for anything more. Look, it's something that we've seen over the last few years. If you think about the level of talent, level of skill, gameplay, today versus even just a few years ago, yeah, it, I, I just really feel like it's night and day. Yeah, man, especially for a um, relatively young community, man, at yeah. least on the intentionally competitive side. Yeah, right, right. Making strides, and I love it. So Illusions has gone with Sorcerer Quan this time against Ethereal. Nice keep yeah, up. Yeah, and a great conversion using the right normal. That back to extended range on the sword, able to connect the trance. And here we go. The portal is up. Yep, sets it up. He's got that frame of armor in there, and he uses it just there. All right, and it comes back after about three seconds. It's definitely back now. Yes. And he's just going to chill in his armor portal. Gets it right, got back, it right back up. And he knew exactly. Oh, I guess he had already tried it. There was the, the three coming out. Yeah. That's All what right. that was about. And breaks to get right back in it, Sabiz. He's going to have to do a lot more than fade. He has to push Illusions out of this portal and the oh. casual overhead. I like it. He just walks in and, like, puts his foot over you. I love it. And it's set up, and this is a really bad look right now for And Samish. the wake-up ball, bro. I think Samish just trying to build meter. Yeah. What are you doing there? <laughs> that was not going to work. In any situation, like, you had no chance. Yeah. All right, jumps over and just going to backdash. That's okay. Yeah, he thought he was too far away, so yeah. he just moved back. He's pretty comfortable there, as we can see. All right, it's going to get hit, tossed out, dash under, hard knock down into the jump over. And JP. Ooh. It's a strong button, no doubt. Oh, and he's going to go setup. for the, oh, yeah. the meter drain portal. Interesting. Trying to rid him of any opportunity to perform an EX fade, and it connects. Yes, it does. Had one bar still, though. All right, patience from Illusions. Walking back and forth, gets to jump in into and the, the setup. portal. There's one bit of armor. It's already gone. Should be about back. And I love this. Samiz is Oh, well, whiff punish. It was a huge whiff punish. All of a sudden, he left 
his yeah, little home. He got greedy. You know. Tried to come out and snatch the cheese off the trap. He was living in his house. Baited. It. <laughs> it's the best way to put it. But I was about to say, I like what's uh, how he's playing the character to its variation. Quan has the normal tools that go all the way around, and he's not just running up trying to 50-50 or, yeah. you know, poke or just EX runes. No, he's doing anything and everything to first and foremost get a portal oh, going. what an anti-air. The roll so strong. Even low profile. Even, uh, cutting combos short, leaving damage on the table just to get the portal going. More important, he has his game plan in mind, and so does Samij using those EX fade cancels for frame advantage. There it is. Illusion's getting a chance to start things off. What'll he go for? All right, the jump over is going to take Samish to the corner, gets the corner. Setting it up. Oops. No, and he spent the bar over there, too. No bar. It's okay. Whoa, yeah. That's so strong. You know what? I don't know about the pick. Oh, well, he goes right back into it. But just the way that that, that Ethereal played against that for Samij, it seemed like he could move through. It doesn't seem like it was such a big deal. Yeah, Samij is looking for the trades there. Great mix-up. Stagger string into the lows. Going to clip him by the legs. Get the 32%. The portal's up full string. Tosses the ruins out. But look at that mobility from Melina. Ducking under. But one of the armors is gone. Yeah, and Samish, There it is. Samish has been okay with trading Ooh. the side with the telekick. He just wants to take the hit of armor away so he can then attack. But this time, Illusions getting the punish. Oh, the charge up. Yeah, charge it up. Why not? So Illusion starting with the corner. Oh, and cancels into the meter train portal. Will he be able to get any special moves going? This could be super important to his game plan. Really hasn't Ridding had a chance. her of EX fades. But I love the movement. I love the pressure from Samij. Yeah, and the portal's gone. Yeah. Look at his patience. Illusion's just trying to move forward and try to find something. But even when he's there, there's a lot of blocking. Tries to jump out on Wake Up. Not really able to set things up at that situation. Oh, and the point blank skull. Gets the jump over, the portal's up. He threatened to move forward, but decided to just set it up. All right, ruined. Clipping. Harassing. Him. Far away. He moves forward. He's out of the. Well. Oh, uh, risky I don't stuff. Know. Yeah, I really think He's gonna so. Gonna leave it up to his overhead. Neutral. Yep, in the casual overhead. You know, let me just tap you on the neck with this boo. It's okay. <sighs> Setting it up here. Charge wow, up. that was OD. But some uh, the knowledge that he would get back into the portal. This combo will kill if he completes it. Oos, 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 portal up, chip. Nothing to be done about this. Yeah, and you have to hold that. Nothing to Illusions. be done Illusions back on the board. The quick restart working out in his favor. He knows what he wants to do. And Samij, although the fantastic reaction, EX fading oh, to that charge back to, <laughs> knocks him into the portal and punishes himself, essentially, with the ball roll. Full combo conversion and a threat to change characters. But come on, that evasion was so sick. Ridiculous. With that back, too, I mean, you can just let it go or you can charge it up, which means that there are different timings that could come out of it. It's not like it's all, you see, okay, you see the the, the real back, it's always going to be the same time. No, you can mix it up. And yet, Samij had the right moment. Anyway, he switched it up. All right, makes his character change here. After teasing us yesterday with an Aaron Black change, he ended up not doing it and sticking it out with Melina. Yeah. But this time, going to Cassie Cage, the shades are on, Hollywood time, baby. He did end up going to smoke, right? Yes. Not doing it now. All right, Here's low Hollywood. into the overhead. Tried to air to air, but instead, Illusions had it first. And we'll see the setup coming in in the corner. Yep. Very nice. And Tried to counter poke with Samich, but yeah. you, know, you know that armor's there. It's hard to challenge hyper armor in it any really game. It really is. <laughs> Setting it up again. Thread runs out very smart. All right. And the two shots from the gunshot, smart yeah, stuff, I, maybe. I think, I think that might be a big, big part of this pick. Those instant air gunshots. Oh, yeah. or not. Or get knocked down just like that and the setup. Yeah, the instant air gunshots not taking her high enough to evade the hitbox from the ruins. Illusions. And Illusions is in control here. Yeah, absolutely. Completely different game this time around. He was able to set a portal up in one position and essentially stay there the entire round after having to scramble with Molina and set it up whenever he can. Yeah, Cassie has movement, but nobody has movement like Ethereal. Yes. All right, and the $500 shoes putting in work. Double overheads. Goes for a third when Illusions blocks. Reversal throw into the corner. Backhanded side. Low profile a couple of times. And Illusions trying to back off. Wants to set things up again. NJP, no. 
The casual overhead. Blocked this time. Low. Blocked. Oh, and no a great conversion. Up. Realizes yeah. that down three caught him in the air. The EX nut punch for the massive frame Oh, the advantage. weight. I love it. Empty jump overhead. The back dash was there. And the low start. Illusion's not out of this. He needs a couple of series, but he's not out of it. All right, taking the meter. Oh, and they're running back. It's a loop. She's never going to get the opportunity to break. Oh, what? I love the idea. It didn't work out. And oh, the jump, jump back, back one. one. Great uh, read from Samiz. Unloads and reloads. Cassie Cage. Huge horizontal control with that air normal. All right, the armor is up. Will he be able to stay in this spot like he did in the first round that he so successfully handled Samiz? Some good damage from afar. Taking control or trying to in the oh, run up overhead. It comes out of the house. Quan Chi's home, baby. Takes it to Baby Cage. It's going to push the princess to the corner. And he just moved. He's got and a new home. Got He's challenged. The corner. Here and he this is. is free. No. Chip. Ooh, oh, and the bait. Illusions with the read. And the pop off from that man in the crowd. Slater hat. The high top fade yeah. from Saint uh, from Kansas City, Missouri. Excuse well, somebody's me. got to do it because it's not going to be illusions. He's not going to be the one to pop off. Yo, check these kids out. They're so poised. Samiz just looks like like the first game. He's just chewing his gum and yeah, yeah. it's okay. Illusions getting caught with the crowd. <laughs> as, uh. <laughs> as the crowd screams on in excitement. All right. I love the positioning of a lot of what Illusions did in that last uh, game. I thought that was really strong. And he did have the run up. You know, it's not just that he is controlling space, it's that he's understanding also when to all of a sudden go in. And people will go in and go for the grab or something, but he went in and he went with an overhead all of a sudden. And that definitely caught. So now it's going to be back to Ethereal Molina for some each. Trying all right. to get things going. Backing off with Illusions. Jumps in, gets the jump kick. All right, there he gets fade immediately. Uh huh. Overhead, though. In a situation where there had been some scrambles before, but there was the overhead. Now he gets to set things up. All right, hard knockdown. Here we go, mid-screen. Got that new apartment mid-screen here. There you go, pulls it up on the block. Quan Chi, the new resident of the training room. And he just gets to move. Here All he right, is, he's going to go up. A little bit closer, you know, trying you know to get the show up. time. Yep, that's right. Working his way there, spinning those outworld bucks. Yeah, yeah, moving to the east side a little bit. You already know. Oh, wow, and the EX fade. It makes you feel so bad as a person as your whole string just whiffs. Oh, oh, and the YOLO sky oh, jump. Oh, no, no both punish. guys. Come on, Not folks. Not like this. Come on, folks. And all the Quan Chi players in the world rejoice as a sky drop successfully goes unpunished. Shouts out to you. Quan Chi has made it. All right, size. Tell a kick of his own. He's going to go in, too. EX fade to keep the pressure going. Hello. And, and illusions the trance, and making. he gets to set things up. He is fully West Coast. Oh, no. No home. All right, he's going to take up. that first hit of armor away. Allow it to come back. This oh. is a big moment. Clean jump in. Samich trying to take control of that neutral game, but Ooh. as you can see, that was bad news. Optimal. Okay, pokes out. Samich throwing these sides from a little bit farther away than from when he got jumped in on just now. But All right, look, the zoning. That armor is still there. All the trades are going Gone. in his favor. Wow. Oh, I that love the idea, please. but the recovery. Stays on top of the side. And you see Illusions do that a lot. He changes his air trajectory by throwing out. Oh, no. Yeah, full punish. This is going to be it. And Illusions is going to advance. Okay. Nice job and by there Illusions. there you go. And Samij not terribly happy. But you know who are happy? A lot of people in the crowd. You yeah. can really hear it for Raptor. Yeah, it's Sonic Fox pulling out that Swords of Revealing Light card. We'll get back to that in a second. First off, Control of Chaos. I love the series that they do. The major tournament themed controllers they've yes. all been godlike yes save that 10 percent use the promo code kit 2017 head on over to controllerchaos.com and if you get one of those pads or if you have any pad or any stick you can use them at naptown clutch 6 february 24th 26th that's later next month in indiana at the indianapolis airport that's great i mean that's it's awesome. right there anytime a venue is super close to the airport yeah, I love you it. can't go wrong so if you buy the stick from the uh by the pad they also sell sticks Yep, combo. But everyone still sticks. Kamba, I actually got the drone oh, at you? NEC. I did. I won it in a one of those classic Big E giveaways. Oh, yeah, okay. Where well. you have to have reaction times, and I do. It's pretty. So you head on over and check those guys out. Another place to use it is at the Choctaw Festival of Gaming. This is in Durant, Oklahoma. $5,000 pot bonus. Street Fighter V, 
But there are other games there too. I think For Honor is there. Yeah. Um, well, Oklahoma, yeah, yeah. Scenes popping up. I would love to see it more. That's right. And in Hot Springs, uh, Arkansas, uh, King of the Springs, $1,000 plus in pot bonuses, Melee, Project M, that's really cool, and wow. Wii U, singles and doubles. That's ridiculous. I, I can't believe it. That was an Arkansas tournament mm -hmm. and an Oklahoma tournament. I think that's awesome. Yes, it really absolutely. is. Absolutely. Event brand design by somebody who I can tell you did pretty good work. Absolutely. Yeah, Markel hey, Lee. Hey, Lee, if you want to, you know, where are you? I'm trying to find you. If you want to design other things, too. But yeah, look, I, I, I really you. like that there are those events. Right? Yes, absolutely. For a long time in fighting games, it's been the, the case that there are tournaments on one side of the coast, the other side. Yeah. A couple in the south, a couple in the north. But then there's this big region in the middle of the country that just hasn't had that much. And I feel like that's growing. I feel like KIT is a, is a part of that. Especially for the guys who, who love this just as much as we do. Yeah. Or they feel like man, it's hard for me to get there right. or here. That's usually those Midwest guys who either side is too extreme. Uh huh. Take yourself to one of those tournaments, get a, a grasp of what the essence is, and then you'll begin to say, okay, maybe this investment is worth it. Yeah. Start saving up. Majors are announced months, months in advance. Yeah, and we'll see you at the big boys. Once, once you go... You know, you're never going to not yeah, want to go. You're, you're in the you're, vortex. You're going to be stuck. Unblockable. Yeah, you're going to be stuck. Not that that's a bad thing. Oh, I said uh, Raptor before, but I meant Illusions. Because here's Raptor yeah. versus Wild Cowboy. Yeah, right from the Midwest himself, coming from St. Louis, Missouri, right in the middle. Noble Boys. All right, and Cowboy. Um, I don't know if that helmet has moved to the side since we last saw it, um, <laughs> but it looks like it. He looks pretty happy in that picture. He does. I don't know if that's a Shinnok face. But then look at his game face. Okay. That's, that's a little bit more appropriate. I, I like it. That's I mean, like the startings of a scowl. Not you know, quite everyone, there, but a little bit. The know. Wild Cowboy Classic is, you know, he does the head nod and he starts yeah. shaking his head. That's when you know you've got him on tilt. We haven't seen that. This man. I don't think we've had to have seen it. He's probably on a weather tournament. Yeah. If we don't see that head bob, something is up. He's next level Shin Cowboy, oh. Elder God, Baby <laughs> Shinnok. All right. It's something about the helmet. Maybe it's the leather jacket. Or maybe it's because the Dallas Cowboys actually made the playoffs. Whoops. Don't hate me. I'm a Rams fan. I know my team sucks. But, um. Well, Wild Cowboy, since yeah, he man. got sent to losers, 3-2 over Buffalo, by the way. <laughs> Buffalo played super well this Ridiculous. weekend. That was amazing. But then after that, 3-1 over Biohazard, 3-1 over Forever King. So these last two matches, he's had super strong competitors, and he's taken them down 3-1. Yeah. And why, and why not be satisfied with yourself? And it's in every way. That match against Biohazard, man. So devastating to watch Bio lose about a 70% life lead when literally all he had to do is get like two more from Cowboy. Yeah. The poise and the clutch. We saw him just do it against King. Yeah, we did. So you have to finish him. You know, no pun. You have to. And if you have to do a fatality first round, do it. Shouts out to Rio. He does that. And I love it. Wow, down to you just like that. Go for the mind games. Trying to chase. Okay, Hell Sparks, he was not quite in that little hole where you can fall through. Wound Cowboy with Imposter now. Into what? Into down one interrupt. Tried for the low, but I like the delay. It's been nope. something that Cowboy's still good at. All right. Oh, Ooh, my God. What? It reactions. The anti-air on the teleport. Come Stand on. three. Having none of it. Plus frames into the back throw. And it was such a stagger that it seemed like maybe some overhead was coming, but no, it was the grab. Ooh. Down two through. Escape. Chip, major yeah, problem. Just enough. With that extra chip coming from the flame aura surrounding Scorpion's body, that string is going to be enough to get the job done. Both trying to take advantage of things. Oh, wow. I love Raptor's timing. And Raptor has such control. He's so overwhelming. The air-to-air -air jump three. Ooh. So good. Dunk. It crushes lows. Yes, it does. Down two. There's such levels of duff in these two guys. They're just, uh, just dunk, uppercut, get out of my face, get on the ground. I just love watching that scramble, the down one and the little weight, the overhead, the low. Those Trading moments, pokes. so big. That'll be that. Wow. Very convincing. With the stand three punish, uses the plus frames, and then immediately went for Chip. Cowboy just let it happen because it was over. Look at this. What a start. He bet on Hell Sparks, and he was right. Where's he going? Overhead. All right, gets the shoulder out. He's going to get the jump in. No conversion. Oh, down two. He 
This team's so ready Shoulder. for everything. These guys are brawling right now. Saving it. Jump. Air to air, jump three. So strong. The combo again into what? There you go. It's Overhead does it. Yes. And Raptor. It feels like he's just running this. Yeah, so far. he's just having his way. Like, it's been a while since we've seen Hellfire Scorpion yes. at this level, or maybe never even at this level. I mean, the early days of the MIT Hellfire Scorpion. It's a pretty different character at the time. Absolutely. Raptor is taking the most of what this patch has made him. Optimize, combo, setups, anti, whatever it takes. Up against the Shinnok Master, who's playing imposter in his set and yeah. not his tried and true bone shaper. Yeah. He wants to be able to vortex and keep things going. Sure, yeah, I understand wanting to get the vortex, wanting to get the mobility, but that just hasn't been a big factor so far. He's just been getting hit. All right, and nice delay. Gets the throw. Has a big life lead to make up. Checked. Cowboy in control. Doesn't challenge him with the jump, too. They both had the same idea right there. But All right, into it the Shinnok, the Elder God spear. That spear animation is cool. We have we go back and forth about which animations we don't like from the moves okay. and steals, yeah. like Molina's ball roll. Okay, it, it's just it just looks funny. But I like Shinnok with Scorpion spear. It's cool. Sure, yeah, it's cool looking. Anything's better than, uh, for example, Katana down three. Oh my God, please! All right, into the corner, overhead. Overhead blocked. Still caught in the corner here. Wang Cowboy walks up first, then the low. Oh, and the Hell Sparks gonna get the shoulder. Twenty-one percent off an air to Hell Sparks. So good. Fireball cancel. Ooh, underneath. And again underneath. Right back at you. No meter burn. Trying to get the air to air. Oh, oh no. And just out of he range. He overcommitted. Yeah, this is going to be death. Wild Cowboy tying it up. Trading games. I like it. Back and forth. Back to back. Pure solid play. And Raptor just a little out of range on that EX teleport. Easy yeah. punish. Easy yeah. way to take that game. Well, there was so much more patience from Mount Cowboy in that game. Okay. Not much patience there. Yeah, why not? Maybe that's why it works. It's one of the things about the new Shinnok. They throw out that shoulder in neutral. Need to burn it for the safety. There's an eight-frame gap in between that and the spark. But, I mean, at worst, you're going to get backdashed, you know? Oh, just out of range. So back to this distance game. Oh, and again, Raptor overcommits. Yeah, and spends his entire bar in about half a second. The EX teleport and forced to break immediately. I think that looks pretty cool. It's kind of purple. Yeah. It's nice. Oh, allows Raptor to escape. Right into Sparks. I love watching the evolution of that little game right there. The little down one check into what? Low sometimes, overhead, this time into Sparks. All right, and this time raw Sparks, just enough for the spacing. And Raptor got a little greedy, ready to dash out. Didn't expect or didn't really read Cowboy to me to burn it. Keeps oh. the Vortex going, the overhead. You know, I think that's been the name of the last two games, is Raptor getting a little greedy. All right, this time punish on the overhead. Standing kick into the spear. Ooh, and a nice run under. Beautiful combo from now Raptor. Yep, that was restand into what? Pressure. Still doing some good work. He backed off a little bit. Dunk. Overhead. And Raptor's mounting this comeback. Hey, can he complete it? Into the throw. Cowboy He's has in a bar. control. Ties it up at life. Jumps over. Oh! And Cowboy caught trying to press a button. And Raptor completing the comeback. Pointing at him. It's not a game. In the game. In the game. <laughs> <laughs> David, please. <laughs> wow. Oh, no. Uh, well, Cowboy taking advantage. Absolutely. Brings him back. What's it going to be? Overhead. And now we have this. Oh. I don't. Uh, you know, Cowboy has been so much better about knowing when to move forward, when to play patient in his last two games. It's like he got the read after the first game and a half. Nice reaction. Air to air. Air to air, yeah. And will this be enough, Chip? Oh. Yes. Yeah, it was. Okay. Chip does the job. Why don't Cowboy up two games to one? The start of it was so dominant for Raptor. Yeah. Just like that, Wild Cowboy takes the lead. And Raptor's going to take some time now, chill out, go back to the character select screen. He's known for his cicada. People in the crowd are screaming for it, but he's going to stick to Hellfire. Do you know what the reason for his switch is? I don't. Just in general? He just, I think he, play, he plays a lot of characters on the side. And I believe when he got to Hellfire, he was like, OK. OK. Like, he thinks this character is better than 
most, you know, the common public opinion. Okay. And uh, Raptor, this guy's a god. He's a tech monster. He's a practice god. He, he knows what works and why it does. And he's able to apply it to Scorpion, man, and he can kind of play the way he wants. The check and then the grab. Again, last time I think it was Sparks. Oh, stomp right into the face. Oh, too late. Yeah, wake up buttons challenging him. You're not that plus off that throw, sir. There it is. Okay. Quite a read, but he got it and the grab afterward. Now trying to go in. All right, he's going to get oh, the yeah. jump over. Kicks so have the challenge. priority. I mean, that down two is excellent, but that jump three is really strong, too. Oh, and so is this forward four, a low combo starter, so quick. Uh, second time he's tried that the whole set, both times knocked down for it. Not yeah. with the stand three and the teleport this time, which was amazing, but that was good too. Yeah, even so much so, that's just great on Raptor's end. Cowboy hasn't teleported in forever, and when he does, he still anti-airs him immediately. That Ridiculous. said, Cowboy's in a pretty good situation. Wow. Oh, man! And this is going to kill. Yes. Ouch! Cowboy. So close. What a call. So match point now for Wound Cowboy against Noble Raptor. Started out the day in winner's side. He might go 0-2. All right, shock into the amulet. Gets the throw. Slap. Slam. And the boot to the face. Check. Check oh! Here's the low. Not too much. Overhead. Oh, overhead. And to the cancel. Doesn't quite get the combo didn't conversion. See it, yeah. Dunk again. Blocking a lot here is Raptor. Yeah. All right. He's going to get the jump in. Well. Air to air jump three. Cowboy's going to armor. You know, earlier he was getting jump ah. three. Wow. It's really so not close. looking good. He needs a huge comeback right now. He needs some huge moments. They stare at each other. And wow, that's Cowboy it. gets it. Handshake and a smile. Wow, Cowboy advances three to one over Raptor. As that set went on, it just there was more and more control from Cowboy. But at the same time, Raptor. Look, he was getting jump three into teleport conversions yes. at the start. And at the end there, he just didn't get it. I felt like there was this change in gameplay where Cowboy was figuring it out. He was getting better. Raptor was having the opposite. All right. And that sets the tone. The loser semifinals is going to be Illusions going up against Wild Cowboy in the fourth place game. The winner will meet the loser of Sonic Fox and Dragon. And that's what we're getting up next. The classic matchup. Can Dragon overcome? Winner's finals. Or will it be the same story once again? It's all smiles and handshakes right now. Oh, yeah. But and it will be to afterward, too. But in the meantime, get real serious be real business. fast. Yes. I feel like going back to, to Cowboy, yeah. um, even though it was 3-1, they were trading rounds. And they the were, same yeah. thing with King. I feel like with Cowboy, the longer a set goes on, the more advantage he is at. Like, his adaptation at every level is just, like you, you said, he wiped out anti-airs, wiped out air-to-airs, the check pokes, the overhead efficiency. He just, piece by piece, it's like each round he notices, hey, this works, yeah. and pulls it. Yeah. And we got a let's go Dragon Chan in the crowd. Really? Hold up. Yeah, we do. And Sonic, Sonic Fox, Fox is, talking to the crowd. I can't believe Sonic. I'm blowing him up. All right, Sonic just pandered to the crowd and said, you can't cheer for him. He played Kartotten Alien. Sonic, you played Acidic against him. Yeah, that's right. I know you had to, that's but right. let's not get carried away. You played Tanya. Let's, let's, yeah, that's right. Sonic, look, all right, forget this. We chat size and go in on Forever King for being one of the dirtiest counter pickers in the scene. Sonic is worse. Let's you gotta not, do what you gotta do. And that's okay. Yeah. But let's not let him get away with it. Okay. And then. Yeah, he can't say that. You know. Right? Yeah. Come on, Sonic. No way. No way, young man. And it's not like Sonic is saddling himself with bottom tier characters all the time, you know? Young Sonic is trying to look for some crowd support. That doesn't happen, sir. Your color is orange now. You are the enemy of all, even more so than before. So much so yeah. that people are in the crowd cheering for Dragon. What's up? Yeah, I remember a day not too long ago when nobody was cheering for Dragon. That's for sure. Different character, though. And at this point, Sonic Fox's dominance of the NRS scene has been a good three years. Yeah. It's quite a while. But those days are coming. The Injustice 2. Someone. There it is. Second. I have my faith in the young commander. 
Honey P. I believe in you, boss. I believe in you. We got to do something about this, Fox. And we'll fix it. All right, going in. Round one, game one. Winners finals immediately. Sonic Fox with the air to air jump one. Jumps over the fans. Mid string, uh, string. Rockets, rockets, up rockets, straight rockets. You know, you're used to seeing Katana being the one tossing all the projectiles, but Dragon on the read. Sonic getting a little too rocket happy, and it's gonna eat upwards of 33%. For his troubles. All right, he's gonna get the straight forward throw. Sonic Fox beating the brains out of the princess. Here we go, in case you didn't like it, watch it again. Bit of the throw loops, Dragon not watching his legs. And the EX rocket, Sonic Fox into the teleport. Chip damage at this time, doing whatever it takes, getting the job done. Fans. More fans. Trading projectiles, these guys just trying to run the zoning war. And a delayed wake up. Sonic Fox is gonna wake up with the buttons, gets the punish, pushes Dragon back towards the corner, and a reflect. Dragon using the variation specific moves. Haven't seen much in the Royal Storm besides the, the square wave that he used a little earlier and missed, cost him a bunch. Wow, and that is next level mind games right there. Triborg's forward 4-3 four, string. The second hit whiffs on Katana if she neutral crouches, but Sonic Fox knew that Dragon would release block to crouch and instead instantly commits to the teleport. That is next level mind games when you, you don't even condition a person the way you want. You just do it as if they're conditioned before the game even started. And Sonic Fox has had Dragon's number. He knows, and Dragon knows, as Dragon goes into his thinking thinking mode stance. Of course, it's not the first time that they've played each other, right? There's a long-standing situation between these two, both in tournaments and out. So when you have that, and you start a set like this, it's not like you're starting from fresh, yes. right? You're starting from, okay, last time this is what happened. You're thinking about that. And even in the first game, that applies. All right, the lift in footsies. I like it, ranges out. Oh, and tries to arm around. Sonic Fox gets the punish, but doesn't commit for the entirety of the string. All right, I like it. Dragon's challenging. All right, set up, baby. No, just goes for zone. Whoa, nice. Oh, that was such a good call. All right, and this time, Dragon in control. Hard knockdown, keeping Sonic right in front. And Sonic Fox has been doing a delayed wake up after every single hard knockdown. Dragon may want to pay attention to that. Okay. All right, Couple the wake-up beefy. Yeah, it's going to cost two bars. One for the armor, two for the launch continuation. And there you go mm, again. Yes, Every you single are right. time, Sonic Fox delayed wake-up on a hard knockdown. Very tough to escape situation. Oh, not enough oh, chip, but yeah, spins okay, the bar. He had no options, no escape. That Omni hitbox was sometimes whips right directly above, Yeah. but enough to get the chip damage. Into what? Just goes back. Advantage string that puts himself very far away. Yeah. And Sector's gonna win these trades. That straight missile doing 9% and a hard knockdown on hit. Well, a knockdown itself. A knockdown, yeah. All right, throw. I don't appreciate beating such a beautiful woman like this. It's, it's not fair. Are we talking about the same MK10 katana? Wait, oh, this is Royal Storm. The mask is off, never mind. Okay, um, full combo conversion, something that's never off is her combo damage. No matter who you oh, are, that's for sure. the beauty of Katana is that the, the players are all freestylers and we all do different combos in various ways and still get effective damage. Oh, I like the idea. Sonic Fox clearly read it just a little bit off on the anti-air. All right. Wow. Wow. He had two bars. All Why right. Not, I suppose. He's going to spin it immediately. Tries to throw Sonic Fox ready with the tech. And the Overhead. back one into the ear. No, too late. Escape. Too late. Big yeah. chance now. Can he... Can Dragon and the lift! What a call! That was so gone, like EX lift, Sonic trying to slide into the DMs and slide slides his life bar away. The EX lift taking him into the Whoa, wait a minute. Okay, Hold on. The talking about staying in the, out of the air. Sonic Fox with that stand for. Uh-huh. Denying Dragon entry, yeah. Not much range, but if you're on top of it, you're gonna lose. Absolutely. 
All right, there you go. Dragon fighting back. The Dragon special down one into DP. That is a true block string. Sonic Fox caught pressing a button, trying to counter poke. Instead, gets launched for 29%. Great block. All right, goes for the entirety of the string, and making Sonic Fox respect it. Confirm. Can he get the instant air fan? He no. can't get it. That's such a tight combo. And wow. oh man, Amazing. he is in X-ray territory. Fox do this? Yes. Oh, oh no! Boy. And this is gonna be an X-ray combo. Have some head. Oh, and the brutality. I don't like this. <laughs> the Lin <laughs> Quay Adidian and I Sonic Fox is taunting. Personally, I think she looks better. <laughs> David. <laughs> <laughs> the Lin Kuei Indian, the Lin Kuei has infested the purity of the Indian race. I don't know how I feel about this, but Take either control. way it goes, Echo Fox's Sonic is up two games to zero and one game away from another oh, Grand Finals. What? Oh my god. And Sonic Fox kept it going and he's got another situation here coming in. A little down three. Is your knee okay? Check. Little nerve test there. All right, Sonic watching his legs, trying not to get launched for major damage in the corner. Is going to get the jump over, blocks the overhead. Lots of control there. Oh, he's looking for a jump, didn't come. All right, pokes with. And right. Oh, God, the control of Sector in the neutral game is tremendous. He just has such good projectiles, such good movement. Strings that put him back into the middle of the yep. stage. He has a solid chip, that 2-1-2 two, yeah. two straight rocket with the pushback. Everything just yep. right where he wants it. It's down oh. three, reaching. Tried to jump over it. He was not there. Here's Dragon. What a conversion. Yeah, and great awareness. He's going to go for the air float mix-ups. Shouts to the great Atai, who, who uh, made that a thing among Katana players. That was regular teleport, I think. All right. A standstill. And why not go for the throw? Oh, oh wow. And the punish. Did he the, expect that? That was the adaptation of the conditioning from pre fight. Dragon showing that he's had signs of life. Uh huh. Will he break? He will not. He will save the bar. Uses it he on the DP. It here. He's just going to bet that Sonic Fox won't spend the bar, and he's there correct. There you go. So Sonic Fox is at match point trying to get into grand finals, but Dragon's still in there. All right, fighting back. What's it going to be? Jumps over the lifts, going to get the kick into the teleport. Follows Corner. Up. And oh. a raw DP. And break just like that. Sonic Fox still has control. He jumps in. Oh, and Sonic doesn't get the back dash on that string. Isn't able to complete it. All right, gets it, it successfully this time. Yeah, kind of funky timing. All right. All right. And, and, hit. Oh, he, he and Dragon's it. so smart. Going with the entirety of the back one four string, hoping to go forward and evade the straight up missile, yeah. but Sonic put it behind him. Right, yeah, he had and already expected that. That's he, it, here's Dragon. He is living on a prey right now. Just a couple of pixels. All right, here's life. What is Dragon gonna do? Chip. Down one. He's still alive. He can't down take one anymore. DP. Down one. Spins it. Can he keep it Down up? the bar. Oh! oh he wanted to get away. He wanted flame. to get away. Dragon with the right read, but the tip of the flame is just enough. A handshake. And a trip to the loser's black bracket for Dragon. And he is shaking his head the whole way And he's way not there. agreeing with this. He's not agreeing Look, with this. It feels bad. I'm sure we've all been there. You have the right idea, and then the game just doesn't quite work how you think it's going to. And that that's the worst, because you feel like, I was right. He was. And the game was wrong. He that's was. how you feel about it. Ah. That's not the case. You hate to see it happen that you know, way, but, but even at the end of the day, feel. he still had two more games to make up. Sonic Fox is yes. going to advance to the winner side of the Grand Finals. Dragon's going to await you know, the winner of our next match. We've, we've mentioned how difficult it's it has gonna been be. for Dragon and for everybody to beat Sonic Fox. So. Well, that the, goes along. The guy I hope to do it, Illusions, is still alive. And the guy who done it, or did it, excuse me, at SCR, Wound Cowboy. Yeah. One man to beat. Illusions is in the path. A date with the Fox is on the line. That's what we're going to be running next. Losers. Semi-finals. Yeah, man. NKX at KIT 2017. All it's right. been a good top eight so far. Yeah, so Cowboy's on his way. He's going to get his control already. Desync the everything. He awake? Yeah, he, he's awake. Okay, good. He's good. awake. He was only yawning against King. He's like, oh, okay. You know what? Now that I think about it, I wonder uh, if that was just like some ac some affectation. He's just doing it. I mean. He's not actually sleepy. He just wants the opponent to know. He just wants King to know <laughs> that King is putting him to sleep. All right, and Illusions sitting here in the highest place he's ever reached. Currently in, I mean, the loser is going to go home and forth. Um, yes. Very extremely respectable, especially at this level of competition uh, here with the tournament. Even with a few guys not able to make it, 
Yeah, the only person to beat Illusion so far is Sonic Fox. That's right. Um, it's not a, it's not a bad loss and at was, all. It was three to one, you know. Yeah. But this this could go either way. Um, Cowboy, the established veteran, the guy who's been there, done that. Illusions, the new face coming up in MKX, making a name for herself, the new wave of competitors. What's it gonna be? The young man's game, or will the teacher put the young student in his place? Well, we know that in at least top two is Sonic Fox and Dragon two. Very young players. Yes. And then the third could be either another youngster in Illusions or it could be Wild Cowboy. One of the elder statesmen of the game. Yeah, Not that man. he is an old man by any stretch, but, you know, compared to absurd video game standards. Yeah, of course, which is ridiculous. Yeah. You know, these somehow, you know, after 25, 25 oh, year no. old, yeah. you know. <laughs> We need to do like a Mythbusters or like pull out some facts on these ridiculous FTC statements. Yeah. You know? Well, like in Street Fighter, some of the best players are in their late 30s now. Yeah, so free. It's, it's like, no big deal. Hello. So it looks like it's going to be Quan that Illusions goes to. All right, Cowboy. Ears halfway off the headphones. Same with Illusions. It's not game time just yet. Those guys are going to lock in after this button check. All right, they both Warlock go for the throw. Quan. Both go for the interactable. What do you think about him going Warlock here? Oh my god, this is the day one. Illusion's actually a day one Warlock main. Oh, for real? Oh, okay. Yes, and Sun God. He played him at the first Evo all the way through in 2015. Um, going down to Zyfox, and Zyfox made his way to that top eight. Yeah, I remember. And uh, we haven't seen him since. He said he doesn't like him much in this patch, but he plays him for a handful of matchups, literally five or less. Okay. Here's one of them. I guess, yeah. And maybe, maybe the thought is for counter zoning? You know, if you think that Shinnok's going to be on the other side of the screen trying to zone, you can poke him through, I suppose. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, gonna... better wake-up options. All right, it's going to go for it. Spin yeah, the three bars, Vortex, the casual overhead is going to start things off. All right, it's going to get the full damage. Going to whiff that grab to build some meter, get some skulls out. The troll boot from full screen. Mm -hmm. And the punish on the run up on the close goal. Well, Cowboy has consistently shown that he's fine in many different matchups, right? That's that's what, something I really like about him. Whether the opponent wants to zone or pressure or whatever, he's ready. All right, and the mix up, staggering from the stand one. The, okay, what's it gonna be? The mix up and the overhead is gonna get the job done. That ex portal stab, leaving the opponent on their knees, with giving Quan Chi enough time to do anything he wants. He did not have a bar, by the way. There, that was he just did it. Oos. All right, using the invincibility from the interactable. A lot of great knowledge of the stage from all of the players tonight. Yeah. Not allowing themselves to remain confined in a corner or oh. a mid-screen situation. And that was no conversion, just kind of did it. Cowboy trying to find something. Caught in the center. All right, in the boot. It's going to kick the Elder God in the back. Oos. And Cowboy walking forward, inching so closely, step by step. It's a slow bulldog, but he's doing it. Slowly pushing Quan Chi into the corner. Runs up. Oh, Ooh. full combo punishable. Mm -hmm. And Cowboy's not going to miss that. Will Illusions break. He will not. No, he's going to hope to block whatever's coming next. Oh, oh and he had the right idea, but Cowboy did not come down quick enough for the portal stab to catch him. Smart stuff by Illusions. A little too early. And Cowboy stays oh, alive in its first game. All right, the unblockable <laughs> Illusions reacting to pretty much everything else, but not that for whatever reason. Oh, no whip punish. But it comes in for the overhead. Yes. Wow, Cowboy doing some damage. Gets the next opportunity again. again. And back to back. And space control as well. Wow, Cowboy has everything right now. I love this position. Oh, and now it's really unfortunate. If you saw that, Cowboy just actually burned the health spark, but the skull hit him, so he has no meter. Illusions is going to just commit to it. 4-4 four, four into the trance. He's going to risk it all here on the mix-ups? No. Still a bar on Wow, Cowboy's side, but he backs off. They both back off. All right, pushes. Ruins, this is going down to the last hit. Oh, and the Jumps escape. Away. The escape. Can he get away? Pokes yes. through. Oh, oh, buttons and were too fast. Yeah, and Illusions tries to get away with one. Mm. Down poke into the rune. Cowboy, knowing that he had enough space to counter poke, gets the down one and punishes with the string. Game one. Patience and experience. Yeah, again, Cowboy is just so ready for all these things. Troll boot, I love it. And willing to play different styles with the same character, which I which I love to see. 
All right, poking through. Standing boot, illusions, waiting to escape again. No Let's anti Cowboy, air. Yeah, empty jump over. Yeah, how about that? So Cowboy now gets a chance for something else. Low, keeping himself safe there. Nicely done. And that's that. Yeah, and Cowboy what a round. picking up on illusions' uh, tactics here. He just wants to wait for a standstill and then use the interactable to escape. And Cowboy allowing him to go ahead and beat himself Punish accordingly, keep the position. Oh, he got it? Awesome. Wow, that was such a sick pickup. Not a lot of damage, but really cool. And the nice bait right there, the walk up. Decent stagger into the low. Illusion's getting opened up, can't move. Down one into the low scoop, changes positions. No, oh. too far. And the hit's going to push him out of the range of the ruin. Cowboy getting through. Oh. Went low. Big risk, but he got it, and it's going to be good. Yeah, There's that's going to be chip. enough to chip. Wow, Cowboy, two games to zero just that fast. Illusion's going to go to player select. He's going to think about it. A lot of people in this game, when they want to play a different style, they will switch characters. Wait a minute, right. David. Oh. Wait a minute. He's thinking about it. Oh. Young Illusion's. Is he going to do this? He's going to be locked into this character. That's right. Yeah, he's down 0 2. If he loses, he's out. But if he wins, he's got to stick the with the crowd. The crowd is screaming no. Illusions wants to do it. Looking back at his teammates, looking back at, back at his coaches. It's down to him. It's his choice. What's it going to be? What will he do? Uh, Illusions dragging out this time. He has Reptile. We've seen Kotal. All right, I'm on commentary, so somebody call Bear. From the from Panda to come and put the clock on this guy. He's wasting our time, dude. I need a minute and run it. He's in there. We'll see if it pays off, though. It's quite a different style choice. That's for sure. I can't remember the last time I saw Reptile in the top eight. <laughs> yeah, been a while. I think it was the one-off MIT and CEO 2015. <laughs> all right, and opening up with some offense. He's betting it all on Ooh, Nimble Reptile. A big read there. It didn't work. And if that's what it's going to be, if it's going to be big reads like that, then it's not going to be a good look. Wild well, Cowboy's too experienced Yeah, for that. especially when he didn't need to. He was in full control. He had 30% right, life yeah. lead. You know, he's trying to rush a hard too much. Jumps yeah. out. Spit. That's going to be hard to set up. Absolutely. Force ball a little too slow for Shinnok in that dark point. One of the faster projectiles. Oh, Wild well, Cowboy will take those traits. He's got the life lead already. Yeah. Slowly moving forward, though. And the respect right now, Illusions just stopped at a standstill, a bit you know, confused in the neutral. Yeah, the, the way that Illusions plays, it, 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 he's, he doesn't seem like a fast player to me. Yeah. I feel like this is a strange pick. Two, well, he has one round to figure it out. Cowboy yeah. with the low scoop into the overhead, doesn't get the punish. Ugh. Walks up. You see the patience there from Illusions. That's, that's over patience. It's too much. Yeah, something about this reptile pick just looks kind of all right. The mix up forward, forward to the slide. But it's a big bet. All right, wakes up with the elbow dash. All right. Cowboy's out of there just like that. We're back to this situation. He takes the risk. He pays off too. S slide punish. Yeah, I mean that is definitely something you can yeah, do. Yeah, oh, that's but not the gonna work. Forward, no. And he's, yeah, questionable pick. Illusions goes out. You know, it, it's kind of. I really don't know how to explain that. You know, maybe, you know, at the least go Sun God. He probably thinks that match is terrible for Kotal, and maybe he, it he is. Must. Yeah, he must if he didn't, but if he didn't go to it, if he went to Reptile The Reptile, reptile pick proven to do nothing. Yeah, absolutely. there was really just nothing there. He got the opening combo, and after that, there was literally nothing else going. One thing uh, I really like about Wild Cowboy is that he doesn't need to switch characters to play differently. Yeah. Right? He With... with Shinnok, sure, variation change sometimes, but he can play against people who want to zone, people who want to play offense, people who want to play mid-range. He has all of that there with the way he plays. And so when Illusion wants to, or when many people want to change that style, they change the character entirely. Yeah. And that, that is a big change. Yeah. And it can be hard as the player in that situation to make that work. Yeah, so with that, Illusion is going to bow out at fourth place, his highest, highest tournament placing yet. Um, He'll be emo about it, and then he'll wake up, and he'll be like, yo, I got fourth at KIT. Like, it's really good. I'm knocking on the door. He's getting there. Advances. This was a stacked event. Yeah. <sighs> it's to the point, like, 
when I, when I relate to people who, who check in with me, who like maybe don't play but they follow, yeah. and they wonder like what the numbers are, how the tournaments are, and I always tell them it's like it's like how Marvel Three is. The numbers aren't where they were, but every pool is now ridiculous. Yeah. Like you can't just win. Like there's no easy path. There's no fluff at, at all, at all. And every single person in this top, they earned it, and they fought like ridiculous opponents on their way here. Yeah, and the final three are some of the best players in MKX history, for sure. Sonic Fox, definitely among the greatest fighting game players of all time, and he's Absolutely. hanging out in Grand Finals. So Dragon and Wound Cowboy, that's going to be our Losers Finals today. Is it going to be a rematch for Dragon against Sonic Fox, or are we going to get to see Wound Cowboy up there a rematch from before? There's the handshake. All right, here we go. Business time. Losers finals. KIT 2017. MKX and the bait. Dragon loves that. He's going to go more for the Yes, against the Bone Shaper. I love the pick. Some extra space control in there? Yeah. And you don't have to deal with Dark Beam. You can space them out. The right, diagonal glaves. From the, yeah, from the and air. This is the easy conversion run up scoop into the lift. The hard knockdown. And there you go, Dragon's in control with his zoning. Yep. That's oh, all right. very nice. I he love it. He can shadow kick it. through Hell Sparks. This seems like a really good pick so far. Yes. And he's kept an excellent spacing outside of the Hell Sparks as well. Oh, that said, no, it was not what it needed to be. Oh, and a little bit too far. Sweep. And nice. the armored shadow kick. It is safe. Negative six, but it is a high. So if Cowboy reads it, he can neutral crouch it. Well, here we go. Dragon out with the Glaives, trading projectiles. That unblockable them. requires Z-Button to be on the ground, and there is very little time that Dragon has been on the ground so far. Absolutely. He's been airborne. I mean... Oops. Still airborne, but eh, probably not where he wants to be. Yeah, not. you want to be just outside of the range of Hell Sparks, and a great punt is Dragon with the chase down. Cowboy breaks, scoop. Mm, just there. And the Shadow King's going to get a healthy 17%. It all adds up. And Cowboy, the smart stuff, catching Dragon at the top of his arc, running in under the Glaive. Instant Glaive stops that, but Gosh. you can jump over it. So there's the mind game there in the go. zoning. And Dragon spinning the bar, game one. Cowboy with the slash smile. I saw yes. it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and the head shake. And you know what? He's going to go imposter. He's got to change. Yeah, that's what he did. Yeah, the amulet has changed red. Yep. The, you know, you look into his, his outfit. Yeah, he's got a little, you got you got to gaze at the navel there. Yeah, and uh, Dragon's going to want to watch out on the air glaives. Um, he can jump, meet Dragon in the air, teleport right behind him, and punish him right. on those graves, which have 24 frames of startup. Um, fantastic recovery, though, but he'd have to meet him in the air. Cowboy's going to want to try to get in the range of Hell Sparks. Not quite there. But he is pushing Dragon backwards, which is good for him. Yeah, it's a patient game. You have to take your time against the Princess. She destroys in patient There turns. you go. That's exactly what you mentioned. All right. Now it's his turn. Imposter is in. He does steal Katana's lift. So it's a vortex, and it loops back into itself if he can get it going. Oh, the float above. No. String does not work. Oh, and the NJP from Cowboy into the lift, run it back. Mimicry has the damage buff. What's it going to be? Stagger into throw. The little two-step right there from mm -hmm. Shingdok. The little, little Elder God shuffle. I like it. Little Ooh, dance really? moves. Wake up, throat slice raw. Uh-huh. Is that what makes these kids good? Because they don't care. And we're all respectful Look, man, veterans. Look, if I knew, then I'd be up there too. All yeah. Right. <laughs> Should be it. There it is. And the chip damage is going to get the job done. Here we go. Variation switch at play. Cowboy able to freely maneuver around the stage more. When he's able to get the offense going, he can keep it going. And the damage is more significant than it is in Bone Shaper. Again, I mean, the design of the game is fantastic. Variations it, yeah. work. Mm -hmm. And you can tell it on the Katana side as well. Mournful is what caused this variation switch Absolutely. by Shinnok. So now we'll see where he goes. All right, low into the amulet. Wants to keep it safe. Dragon's going to challenge the neutral jump kick follow-up with the EX staff grab. Got no, not quite there in time. I really like the uh, reaction, though. Ooh, stomp in the head. Like, her Again? little brooch, if that breaks ever, like, if you damage that, I'm going to have problems with the design. Shinnok, it's not fair. You should be able to damage his helmet. It's disgusting. 
But Dragon gonna go to the corner, into the throw slice. Glaze. Meaty, yes. Keeping himself safe. Expensively, but did there it. There you and go. There you go. And this is gonna be death. Hey, great work today. You know you're a great player. Your fundamentals and your reactions tell you the anti-air. Hold this move. Float. One Before of the that, Wild Cowboy tried to doubt to to uh, low profile it a couple of times, but he just thought that it was gonna be a different situation. All right, there. and a wake wrong. up shoulder. Cowboy, no meter right now. Down one into the shadow kick and the run up into the late grab. So meterless works. Gonna get the Woo! yeah right back into the corner. Thirty nine percent. Beautiful. All right, the tip damage is so real. And Dragon's in full control. Mm, Slap. said. Slam. Boot. Here's Cowboy. What's he going to do? I mean, we've seen Cowboy. No meter burn. Pull successful comebacks like none other. It's going to be tough right now, though. Chip, chip, chip. Doesn't kill. Cowboy at the pixel. There oh. it is. Yeah, he tried to escape, but he was just too late. All right, and Dragon, 2-0. Has the mean mug right now. His spacing is excellent. The reads are excellent. The conversions are great. Look yes. at that. Thanks. Expecting it. He is playing really well. And right back to the zoning game. Didn't even try to approach. All right. Into the mix. What's it going to be? Goes the for the tech. throw. Dragon with the tech. Shadow kick one way. Shadow kick back the other way. Why not? And it comes back no matter what. Yes. Okay. Cowboy gets out of that situation, but... You know, what's he going to do after that? He needs to set things up. He needs to make things happen, and yet it's been Dragon controlling things. Yeah, Dragon's definitely enforcing his will, having his way, doing whatever he wants to Cowboy. He just built another bar. Well, that'll be it. Yeah, and that's a punish right there. Match point now for Noble Dragon. And Very what, convincing who, so far. Yeah, who would have guessed? Who would have guessed? It seemed at first like that imposter switch was the right call. Man, maybe it is. But since then... Dragon has been able to get the best of things. Yeah, there seems like there's some un, you know, familiarity with the matchup on Cowboys end. At least with Morpho gets Imposter, but yeah, oh, again, the stagger caught pressing a button. Mm -hmm, yeah. Oh, and this is it, man. Dragon is steamrolling. There's the break as soon as he had the bar for it, but Dragon right back into it. EX and he takes control. Again, overhead. Very close now. Cowboys and in a rough situation. It. Dragon 3-0 overwound Cowboy. Wow. The most single-handed set we've seen just about all tournament long. And Dragon is going to get to meet his match. Well, remember, the guy who was going to get to meet beat him 3-0 yeah. in winner's finals. So it's still a real tough battle for Dragon. But the way he did that was just so strong. Again, I remember when he was hey guys, a, like a relatively up. new top player, and right. it was due to pressure, man pressure, here and it was camera. whatever. The He's zoning now, the space guys. control now, the conversions now, everything. I've, I, I'm so impressed by. It. All right. So we're gonna so let's go to Guido, he man. Could be, he would be. All right. So when we go live, he's gonna pan over to you guys, which Body. apparently we are, and apparently like half of me is on stream. That's all right. <laughs> are we good? Wow, we zoomed in. I mean, I'm fat, but dang. <laughs> All right, there we go. <laughs> All right, go ahead and pan the camera over to you. All right, Scar, we miss you, man. We wish you the best of health, getting healthy. Come back and get back in this fight! Yeah, the point from Star Charger, man. He visited him in the hospital. Real close thing for Scar, man. Going through a lot right now with some illnesses. Made his way out of the hospital. <laughs> He's at home We recovering. are going to nerf Echo Fox, by the way. We have a um, uh, request in another here. realm. He knows he can't. So stay home, boss. We're going to trust recover. Paulo's vision on that you one. You got to do what you got to do for your health. Yeah, That's man. the most important thing. We miss you, Scar. Right, man. You know, it's Let's only one started. tournament. And, Without um, further ado, guys, you know, MKX KIT Grand Finals! And now we have one more time. The God Echo Fox's own Sonic Fox! And then, Dragon, sit down. Sit your butt down, boy. Now we have the last noble to survive. Dragon! Please don't trip. Thank you. Let's go, guys. All right, go. young Dragon, the serious face. Sonic Fox just laughing and hee 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 ha 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 as he teabags his way to victory. Yeah. We haven't seen one today, but... In this matchup, it's happened a lot, and don't be surprised.
if he uses that to get in Dragon's head. Did it just so happen that two of the best Mortal Kombat players in the world are from Delaware? How'd that happen? Hey, how did that happen? People. The population, yeah, it's like uh, ten. Come on. There's more people in this venue than there is in the <laughs> yeah, entire state of Delaware. Shout out to Delaware. And they birthed these two monsters. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so going right over to Triborg. Yes. Right over to Sector. Sector pick. He's going to pick Sector against Katana. I'm sure he will. Doesn't want to deal with it. Incredible space control. Incredible safety. And shout out to Guido, man, holding it down as the announcer, man, getting people riled yeah. up. I like it. All right. I like it. Royal Storm's the choice. That's what he tried last time, and he got 3 0'd, but goes back to it. You know, there's also a difference when you get to come in from playing losers matches like right back to you, riding your momentum, your wave off the wind you just had. You're warmed up, everything's going right, you're executing your reads, and out that dominating performance of Cowboy, his confidence has to be at the next level. Oh, yeah. Interrupted by Sonic Fox, who's trying to fight out of the corner. All right. Well. And gets a little risky early. Down one to the lift. Sonic Fox having none of it. Gets the full punish, and that's going to whiff. Two bars gone. Yep. Hit, it, and the conversion. Yeah, has the security measures. He's in good hands. Spins the bar for the uh, damage. Wow. Okay, that's that dragon. Oh, he had the corner for just a little bit. Backing himself oh, off. Air, air to air. air. Yeah, dragon trying to meet him. Trying to keep dragon, uh, keep Sonic out of the air, making a no-fly zone. Oh, wow! I don't know why I thought he was gonna punish that. And Very recovers. fast recovery. Oh, and no punish. Trying to control again. Sonic a threat to jump out. No, he attacks from the front. And lets him do the entire string once wow, again. Wow, the tech! And oh the yeah! One. Sonic's not gonna have the meter to break it just like that. Look Comes at that. out of the gate, takes the first round. Hopefully, sending a message. But you want to get through to the fox. You got to do a little bit more than win a round. Wow. Oh, he covered himself with it. What a read. Expecting the movement forward by yeah. Dragon. Yeah, and that crown fan getting the job done as an anti-air. Dragon in full control. Sonic Fox struggling. And there it is. The bait. The big switch up. Just like that. Here's the corner. All right. Tries to throw Dragon back into the corner. The down three. Harassing. I love that. Wow. And the, the down tech. one DP, the dragon special. How about that? He just understands that Sonic Fox wants to push buttons. All right. Into the lift. What's it going to be? Hard knockdown. And again, delayed wake up. That was Sonic the, Fox. That happened the whole last set. The whole last set these two played, and Dragon hasn't caught on. And what seemingly looked like Dragon in full control, possibly taking this first match. The tide has turned off a simple hard knockdown. The down one into the DP. There you go. Sonic Fox, great second round. Second half of second round. All right, lift. And max range can't punish it there. Air it's to air. And a nice run under to keep Dragon cornered. Oh, yeah. Got hit. Ouch, full. Confirm. Jump and punish. Mm -hmm. Space control just like that. All right. Trying to see if she can get something going. No. Yeah. And just pushing himself back to safety. It's so strong. It didn't do it there. All right. And Dragon swings first, knocking a bit of that oil out of this dirty robot. I'm sick of him disrespecting the princess. Full combo punish into the throat slice. Into what, though? There's so much bar and there's so much safety on All Sonic right. Fox's side. And there you go. Finally, Dragon taking his time after oh, that forward, yeah. that back two hard knockdown. He's picking up on Sonic. There it is. Doing there it, it is. Every time yes. now. Very good stuff. Sonic is sitting on an X ray. I don't know if Tribor's X-ray. No, no punish. He lets him breathe, and now he's gonna die. Oh no! And spends the meter. Wow! Oh, Dragon survives. That's it. Nah, Jumps that's away. That's it. Nah, it's, he, it's gonna track. Yeah, he tried his track. best to avoid the yeah. missile. Sonic Fox teleporting away. Dragon running, jumping, doing everything he can. But you gotta think, and but I'm it sure that's what Dragon is thinking about right now. Is that lost punish? Teleport came through. He let it hang out. And that he was did that. not get the punish. He could have had game one in this set, and instead he's down just like he was last time. Yeah, down 0-1. Um, it's going to take a big pause right there. Shakes his head. He's but, but ready. He, he's, he's picking things up. Yeah, he but is. He's, he's figuring things out. All right. It's going to strike again, get the first hit. Wow. And a reaction right there. Instant air teleport. Catching the startup of the fan. And the knockdown allows... Sector to make things happen. Such a great projectile, yes. man. It is a high, but at 9% and a knockdown, it yeah. better be. And fast and safe. All right, yep. keeps it safe. Mm -hmm. 
Doesn't commit to anything. There you the, go. The poke into the DP. Doing I mean, that's damage, what really stands dragging apart from all other Katana players. He knows how to create the offense. When things aren't working in your favor, you want to force something. He does it with that poke into DP. And it doesn't always work out. We just saw it not work out, but I, I love the idea of it. Yeah, he doesn't mind. He'll spin that meter to make it safe or keep it plus to make the offense keep going. That said, Sonic Fox has been blocking a lot more now, maybe because of that. All right, there's the tech. Oh, in the track. He's going to try to save and get a free block string. Dragon trying to put as much space oh, away grab. in the grab. Why not? Great round. You know, the greatest thing, the greatest way to define Sonic Fox's gameplay is just smart. In early times, people used to call him YOLO and say he was a maniac. But it's, He kind of was. He but, was. But since then, he has grown up in his gameplay. I feel and, and like... He, is, he has the full package. And those years of playing crazy and just committing to things, he learned the tendencies of when it's time to let something fly. Yeah. And having that invaluable asset is what separates him from... There you go. Oh, oh my no. God! Just that legs are left. was OD. Oh my God. Look at the, re the he response He comboed from into the brutality. No. Uppercut special into the blood shower everywhere. So sick that Dragon had to let out a smile. Yeah, but that's the kind of smile that you give when you're like, wow, I'm getting my butt kicked. Nice work, I guess. <laughs> I don't want to acknowledge it, but I have to because it'd be weird if I didn't. Yeah. And you hate to see it happen this way. But again, we're looking at another 3-0. Shino! Dragon's going to go to his secondary. Like yeah. He is going to be locked in, at least for this set, in winners if he can run it back. Sonic Fox, business as usual. One game away from repeating as KIT champion. Can Dragon pull the comeback? Okay, nothing there. All right, back to the control. He had the exact. That wasn't a reaction. Okay, he did. He did the teleport, expecting the health sparks. Guess what? They were health. Wow! No, that was a Are reaction. You yeah, Stand was. for after the instant air teleport. That conversion didn't work all, all the way, but I thought that was too sick. Oh man! All right, dragons getting the offense going now. Whoa! Wait a minute. He committed to it. Yeah, his to maniac do his own. card isn't as good as Sonic's. He might want to chill out on that. Yeah, his his game is not that. It's more the safety. Yeah. And Sonic Fox is He's, at match point. He's at tournament point here at KIT. Yeah, if you just look at his face, he knows what time it is. He feels like he has this in the bag. Sonic's yeah. just casually going through the motions at this point. Yeah, that's how it feels. All right. And there and it's demoralizing that it's like that. Yeah. Oh yeah. For somebody like Dragon, who just 3-0'd Wild Cowboy. Okay, so strong. He's doing better right now though. All right, there we go. He's in control. Young Dragon, the god, enforcing his offense. There you Gets go. Gets the shoulder conversion. <sighs> Running out though, Sonic Fox, and he's made these big comebacks before. There not you there, go, and that was so smart. Canceling into the amulet, immediately taking the health bar, not having to deal with the rockets, allowing Sonic Fox to combo, yeah. and a second chance at a comeback, which we both know hey. Sonic can make the comeback. That hard read worked right there. Missing. Again, a nice punish. Oos. He can set up, goes in for the grab, though. All right, back to back, just throwing them all over the Lin Kuei Temple. There the you grab go. again? A third time. In case you didn't like it the first two. He doesn't have meter to. And he went for another uh, well, one. Okay, yeah, he did. All right. The dragon's going to catch him on the Hell Sparks. Get his offense going. The Mimicry. Sonic Fox walking to. Ooh. Ooh, backdash. Yeah, not enough plus frames to yes, get that overhead that's in. That's right. Slap, slam boot. Let's see what he goes for here. Wow. Okay, Sonic Fox waking up. Takes control with another grab. Trying to get the overhead there. Wow, and oh, a great the stagger. The delay from Dragon. It's going to get everything going now. Sonic's going to have to hold this mix-up. His own grab. He's going to get the, the boost. Damn it, 16%. Yep. Chip territory. Very close to getting Any a string in the hell, Sparks. Did he get it? Yeah. And there you go. Dragon is on the board, not laying down. The crowd is arising, waiting for him to make the run back. Two more games to go. A little bit too far away. Checked. And the grab. Typically, Sonic Fox is so good. With teching, but not there. Wow, Waking up and with the wake one. up buttons. Wow. Back to the zone. Wow, and that was instant. The block was there. Whiff punish. Yeah. Dragon just. Oh no. And again, 
Dragon with two errant special attacks whiffing, costing him meter and health. Oops. There's the tech. Sonic Fox, conversion. Yeah, his spacing has just been on point. That's three whiff punishes in a row. Not Oof. quite death. Oh, whiff punish was there. Here's Dragon now. And Sonic Fox was going for the corners position. Oh. Oh, wow. Yeah. Match point, tournament point again, Sonic Fox. And he's starting in the corner. Build some space for himself. And again, confirm. Right into it. This time he will get the carry, the charge into overhead. the overhead. Okay, I kept it safe though. Oh, the idea nice. was there. It's, that, that great was a escape and great punish by Dragon. Yeah, I love it. He steals two bars. Oh, that oh, was that so, was so sick. good. To that get was under so the sick. Dragon. Sick. All right, Dragon. Let's get it going. Oh, the big bet. Yeah, he's going to get back to the basics of 50 50, either overhead or low directly into the teleport yeah. combo. Here it is. Bar and spent. And Dragon's getting all types of chances here. There I do you like go. how he's playing. Yeah, 16% really adds up, man. Uh -huh. There's a bar on Sonic Fox's side, though. He saved it. And there's the tech getting All right. away. Using the priority. Oh, oh! and the one up grab. Dragon with the challenge. Tell Sonic Fox, I am not afraid of you. I will chase you down this entire stage, whatever it takes to keep this game going. Well, right now he's caught in the corner of the stage. Sonic Fox has a couple of bars, but there's the jump. Imposter Shinnok's out. Meter burn. Oh, it could be a whip. Oh, that was so far. Yeah, and yet, the Sonic delay. Fox did not flinch. And that time gets the overhead going. He's able to remove Sonic of two bars. All right, what's it going to be? To the slam. Pressure. 2-1-2. Two, two. Safe stuff. Combos. All right, he's going to get the throw. Knew yeah, it was going to get okay. broke, yeah. but did it for positioning. Oh, oh, the overhead and the punish. He's got a couple of bars here to make this count if he wants. And he bet it all corner. on the overhead. Oh, challenging the jump in. Wow, the balls on this young man. Dragon does not care. He's going to go for it. Why not? It's almost over. Lay it down. And he did it again. Run up throw. Is Dragon finding a weakness here for Sonic Fox? I can hardly believe it. And the EX flame throw he's looking for. Oh, this is real Trying bad news right now. Sonic Fox, oh, yeah, just, just get and these Sonic's going. going to throw three of them. Get these going. Oh, I would think God. he's going to. Yeah, that, that was, that was bad. Oh! Wait. Oh, oh, no and that's going to be it. We're going to get the brutality. Who's it going to be? Nobody. The explosion the and Echo Fox strikes Ladies first and gentlemen, you know, in 2017. Sonic Fox champ. keeping everything Sonic going. Sonic Fox! A little taunt. I tried and to summon you, Scar. He was just too close to the corner. I'm all sorry. Right. So Sonic Fox wants to apologize. You you. He tried to summon Smoke, a.k.a. for Scar, in the corner. Corner. I but think he, was, he was too place. close to the corner. Can I tell you how crazy to me it is that here's a man who's about to win a major versus Dragon, one of the best players in the world. And he's not just yeah. thinking about that. He's thinking about the game, but it's Third also, place, well, I should Cowboy. really try to get smoke out. Like, those two thoughts are going simultaneously. Come on, y'all. Give him the applause. Who else does that? <laughs> Don't walk away from the metal. In second place. Nobles Dragon! Hey, Cowboy. Cowboy. Come over here. Stay safe over here. Yeah, come in. Hey, guys. Yeah, walk down. There. Thank you. Yeah. 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 I already said second, but yeah, go ahead. We had an organizational problem. And your KIT 17 champion again, folks. Sonic Fox! Really? Booze? Really? Yeah, booze. You're a heel, Sonic. Let's just accept it. Thanks for coming, guys. See you next year. All right. So, the top eight. First place, Sonic Fox. No surprise there. Dragon getting second place. Valiant effort. And as the set went on, it seemed like he was doing better. Yeah, but a little too late. And uh, Sonic was able to close the deal, finish him out, while fishing for brutalities at the same time. Way to go, kid. I'm telling you, like, <laughs> to do that at the same time. Hey, MKX, listen up. All Group right. pitcher out front here. All right, so. Okay, and third place was Juan Cabo, who ended up getting dunked. Yes. 3-0 by Dragon. But before that, I mean, he had quite a run. He beat Illusions 3-0. He beat uh, Raptor 3-1. He beat Forever King 3-1. He did. He beat Biohazard 3-1, and he beat Buffalo 3-2. That's a, that's a gauntlet. Yeah, it is. That he had to run. <laughs> it really and is. He did it.
So good work to him. Illusion's getting fourth. You mentioned this yeah, is the highest place he's ever gotten. Absolutely. He was my – I mean, I wanted Toxic to win, obviously, for Florida, but – um. Yeah. And then some each afterward. But yeah, yeah. Illusions is like one of my guys. He's he's one of I, you saw his whole evolution, you know, from just watching him piece by piece as the years go on for him mad with himself, feeling like he's free to him putting in the work to get picked up by Noble and then going harder and traveling yeah. and, and being everywhere. And here he is like legitimate threats against anybody. He's yeah. a top guy in any pool he's in. And he, I like his resolve. He was able to bounce back from losing in pools at NEC. He was in that death pool with Madsen and Atai and Michelangelo yeah. and all that. And he shook it off, came back two weeks later, and here he is. Here he is. It ended up not going that well for him at the end, the 3-0, and he had tried, yeah. you know, the Yeah, the reptile. The We're reptile not gonna, that's going to be one of those things we talk about when we talk about ugly reptiles. Yeah. Like, Yo, remember yeah, Illusions like KIT? Sure. And then in fifth places were uh, Raptor and Smeech. Okay. Yeah, that was good stuff. Raptor bringing out the Hellfire uh, to the big stage for the first yeah. time since EVO. And uh, – I loved it. I liked it. I liked it. It was optimal. Like, it was slick. I, I got to be honest. I feel like towards the end, you started to see maybe some of the problems with it. Yeah. Not a lot of damage at once. Um, I love the, the mobility of it, and I love you know, some of the pressure of it, yeah. but it felt like he didn't get the pressure side of it very often. Yeah, and it, it looks like it was more of the player. Like, Raptor is is picking up Scorpion, and he might not be as too. great, yeah. but Raptor makes him look that good. Yeah, I mean, he definitely does do that. Absolutely. And, yeah, Samich from, from Florida. Doing yeah, well. man, the young Florida cool. boys, back-to-back. Yeah, back. Um, there you go. Melina, yeah, he Melina. personally thinks that Ethereal is top two in the game. For real? Yeah. He thinks that Melina is top two in the game. That is his opinion from Dang. his mouth. okay. I think she's top five. but yeah, She's clearly good, yeah. but yeah, yeah. Okay. He thinks she's top two, and he says he's not going to stop. He's going to use her for everything. And one top eight down. We'll see him again at the next one. And Absolutely. All right. Last thing you say, I tried to slam a new scar. He was just too close to the corner. I'm yeah. sorry. I know. Yeah, right. yeah, yeah. We um, said it, yeah. Do I take the control out of your hand when you're playing? Huh? <laughs> All right. So, young Sonic Fox feels no, like he's a boss. He, he doesn't Fox. realize <laughs> that I will that. like choke him out. <laughs> <laughs> he's uh, still my son, uh, but he's yeah. the best in the world, so that's okay. Yeah, for real. Uh, and then seventh place, Forever King. Ton of success throughout the years. Absolutely. It ended at seventh place today. You know what happened today? He didn't flex the pecs. Yesterday, before he got in mm. top sixteen, he was flexing them because it was the ladies' hour with K uh, oh, King. We were trying to hook him up and get things okay. going. And if you want to, ladies, if you're still in the chat, Yomi underscore Forever King, he can handle the rest. Um, uh, yeah. So he yeah. he got he got dunked by Wild Cowboy. It was three to one. That's not how he wanted that to go. He tried a couple of different characters and he ended up going back to Ishkuten. It didn't work. Yeah. Didn't go that well for him. And then rounding out the top eight was Beyond Toxin. Yeah, Toxin, man. Happy to be here. Um, First time in top eight at a big event like this. Didn't do what he wanted to. Samich kind of handled him. And um, you know, it is what it is. But that's not the last we've seen of him. Um, no, again, you make top nine at offline events as many times as he did. And then you finally make the top eight. And that's it's a like, big moment for you. I'm home. Yeah, and, it and really is. Now the evolution is to beat who he needs to and just keep going. And yeah. everything is, is good to go. Still my favorite player here. Ooh. Young, young Toxin, the Florida boys. Well, I guess that's it for Kumite and Tennessee. Yes. I want to. Mortal Kombat X top eight. Yeah, well, thank you for joining for us, man. Yeah, man. You know, Thanks having us. Panda X gaming for having us, man. Uh, Vandy for running the event and um, treating every game equal, man. Everyone's on the main stage. Yeah, Each really stage nice. is the same. It's enough entrance. Good people in, in position to run it. Hopefully the stream delivered. We had great yeah. top eight matches. This whole entire tournament, ridiculous. And it'd be and really nice to see more people come next year. I know that they've, they've been growing. Yes. But like I said, the region, I feel like, is underserved when it comes to having yeah. big events. So it's something to support if you're at any anywhere here. But if you can come from elsewhere, too, that'd be great as yeah, well. Yeah, man, why not, man? The Midwest is just as good as anywhere. And that the Southern hospitality, just like being in the Tennessee area, like, I love it. Yeah. Like, I walked in and had a 20-minute conversation with a random guy working in the hotel just because he stopped to talk. You know, that's cool. You know, it's not weird. And uh, <laughs> it's nice to see all the new faces and new players, too, come out. I know I say this every time I get on the microphone, but please, yeah. it is a different beast. And being here yeah. live, there is no other feeling like it. Yeah. You can't, you can't like, duplicate this yeah. feeling without being I'm, here. I'm glad so. that we can stream. but. It's all about being here at the event, for sure. Yeah, man. All so, right, well, hope to see you yeah. next year at Kumitan, Tennessee. We're signing off.